Welcome everyone to the inaugural section of the Society. Uh, in today's premiere episode, we have three horrifying creatures who are going to attempt to cooperate with one another in order to fulfill an ancient blood pact. Um, oh my God. The lot of you have all received a particular token with a familiar image, a mark of the terror from which you were saved from the society. Uh, we'll start from the top and everyone can discuss uh, what that particular thing is. Uh, Jack, since you're at the top of the list, why don't you tell me what, uh, briefly, what you were saved from? Actually, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in media rest. So, You've been given a token. The token represents what you were saved from, like an image, a motif of it. Um, when you think of that moment, you will see a door appear before you, made of obsidian with emerald text in common. I will post it in the chat. Uh, whoever wishes to be a Chad and mouth this off is more than welcome to. Hmm. I, th I really feel like the guy with the with the special speaking voice needs to do it. Yeah, this is a Douglas moment. Douglas Chinna. <laughs> do you want it in Douglas's voice, or do you want it in a different voice? I want it in Douglas's voice. <clears throat> this sweet to hear the watchdogs on a spark. Bade deep mouthed welcome as we draw near home. Tis sweet to know there is an evil will mark. Our coming and look brighter when we come. Mm. A deep-mouthed welcome. There is a handle upon the door in the shape welcome. of a hound. There's a handle upon the door in the shape of a hound awaiting a forgotten master. Are we going to open the door? Where Where is this poem again here? It is on the door. And then do we just like door. appear here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. You open I will the door. open the door. You open the door and you find yourself falling forward as if propelled by nothing. And you'll find yourself upon a faint, pleasant fortress, the ground beneath your feet, and you see your other two compatriots next to one another. You are welcome to introduce yourselves to one another. This is the first time you've worked together. You are accustomed to the society having you work in solo capacity. Uh, the three of you appear in front of one another. Oh, man. Well, well, well. Looks like this go-round is a pair of troublemakers. Or rather, a trio. Whoa. I also can count. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not everyone has the capability. Unstoppable party. Literate. Capable of understanding the concept of numbers, mm -hmm. unstoppable. Well, oh, here's you here's forgot the biggest here's... thing. Oh. We got we opened the door when we were obviously supposed to just open the door. Now, oh, are, you, yeah, are you asking yeah. for praise? Because I do think you're right. Andy, Not just immedi Andy. immediately filling that bowl of tears with urine is 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 praiseworthy. I think. <laughs> What am I looking at, by the way, when I see Yard of Beef's character? When I see Andy's character, like, what? Can can someone... <laughs> I need to understand what I'm seeing here before I can give my so, character's accurate, like, response. So Yard of Beef... Or, I'm sorry, not Yard of Beef. Merck and Credenza, Merck and Credenza. Is, is a plasmoid uh, ooze. And he keeps... He shifts around to different things okay, when okay. he's... As like that's that's how he fidgets. He just kind of starts shifting around. But his standard way is to try to duplicate people around him to put people at ease and blend into situations. So in this case, he's probably going to shift away from his beautiful self like that. When he fights, though, you'll he goes into a special uh, way he attacks. I got it. Yeah. And is but, it like uh, an ooze, like a kind of like? Um, like a uh, sort of gel-like solution, like your sort of translucent kind of like, or is it like kind of a mixture of things? He can change from semi-translucent to completely opaque. He has he has the ability to completely shift around, and gotcha. he 
at this point, because he can sense that that you guys have some wide eyed looks at at him, so he yeah. he kind of starts shifting into a more humanoid fashion. So he's looking much more normal right now. Is is this more to your liking? I uh, I apologize for staring. Um, I, I hear I hear uh, Jack's character's voice, and I, I hear Douglas's voice, and I kind of self consciously uh, apologies. Um, <laughs> Again, the name Merkin has imprinted upon the first voice he heard, and he tries to duplicate things to so make people all, more to make people gonna, more at ease. So we're all growling like that. Uh, well met. I'm a uh, Harlow Calm. I've uh, uh, this will be my first job with others on it. Uh, forgive me for the um, for this wide eyes. It's okay. I get it a lot. You know, I can tell both of you don't naturally sound like this. What are you Y'all talking? Y'all bitches. <laughs> I talk like this because I got this. And he points to a huge-ass scar on his neck. Ooh. Gods. I mean, oh, can I touch that? What? No. Oh, that's nice. I don't that's want nice. you touching it. Oh, sorry. What happened? Besides the obvious. I got stabbed. Which is the well, obvious. The, oh, yeah. <laughs> I see. Yeah, I see. Huh? Wow, what a storyteller. Indeed. My uh, village hails me as the best storyteller there is. I can and where see is why. your village? Dead. I'm oh. the only storyteller. <laughs> Maybe that's why we got brought together. I also, my, my family was murdered. <laughs> Phenomenal. I feel a kinship already. Sorry. He raises his dripping hands to give you a hug. <laughs> I don't want a hug. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. There's a, small sign, his hand. there's a small sign in the society's front door that says hugs are mandatory. <laughs> That's, that wasn't well, there before. If it's the rules... I will accept the hug. Come here, big guy. That's the first time I've seen that sign. Do we all like hug? Like one group hug? Oh yeah, a triple hug. It's just so like clanky and also squishy. It's terrible. Oh yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, Douglas it... looks to Harlow. <clears throat> so Harlow, are your is your family dead as well? I um. I never knew my family. I was an orphan taken in by... Well, it doesn't matter, but... Um, my, my birth family, I never we knew. We should them. hunt down your family and then kill them so we could properly say you're an orphan. Well, actually, the man who did raise me, I was his guard in some ways, and he also has, has died. Um, so, my wow, found family was also killed. This is this is the tie that binds. Yes. Death of family. <laughs> so beautiful. I think we make it a rule. If anyone else is going to fight at our side, we kill their family. <laughs> that, you know, we can, like, metaphorically kill their family. Like, you know what I mean? Like, in... No. Mm. Mm. Like we, what if they hate? What if they don't like their family? Oh, that's terrible. But it's kind of kind of counts as them being dead, right? I guess. What do you think, Douglas? Did you like your family? No. Oh, <laughs> well, they're double dead. <laughs> they're dead Were to they? me. Were they Which is why when they before, died, before they became they were... even more dead. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so we usually go up to the door, right, and just kind of knock, I'm guessing? Well, I don't know if it's the same for all of us. But yeah, they usually just give the mission and we go. Yeah, usually I'm in like a bathroom or something and... Like someone in the next stall over communicates their mission, the mission to me. That's a bit I, weird. Is that not how it works for you? <laughs> no, they don't do like a, your mission. Should you choose to accept, they don't. When no. I 
when I usually stick my appendage underneath, it it tends to to make it make people think that something's <laughs> leaking. So no, they don't start talking as much as screaming and running. You know, well, you're. I'm very concerned <laughs> about the sense. concept of you in a bathroom stall. <laughs> it's it's kind of odd. Do you do you like wear do you like wear clothes or is it like you make the clothes with your ooze? Or is it like when you're not ooze. you make the clothes with ooze? But do you like have any stuff just like floating inside of you? I do. I've got so I I use my bag of holding basically so I can fit through the smallest spaces I can. But if he's fighting, he does have a mithril chain suit that he can wrap around. Mm, and stuff. Gotcha. Very interesting. Why? Do you need something? Are you hungry? No, I was... He reaches in, into himself and he pulls out a... You know, honor honor binds that I will take this sandwich and eat it if you're offering it to me. I, I just wanted to know you looked like you were looking deep inside me. I was... I, I'm sorry, once again, my eyes are wandering. Why don't we go go to the door and see see what the, the job is? All right. So... Merkin, Merkin makes himself completely opaque at this point. It looks like an exact duplicate of, uh, of Douglas, except for the scars on the other side of his throat. So we, so it can be told, told apart. So the scars on the back of his throat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like just the back of his... Next. I, I look at... I look at... Yeah. Um, I look at Mer Merklin and I'm like... Uh, <clears throat> Douglas, your scar. Where'd it go? No, it's me. Marlo. Oh. Marlo. Sorry, I was looking away at this. I was eating the sandwich. Marlo, please. It's so obviously not me. Don't do this. We're supposed to work together, and I'm Wait. already about to kill you. Oh, my God. Got it. All right. Doug so Douglas. Douglas. So are we going to knock or go into the bathroom? We're gonna knock. I guess we knock. <laughs> Douglas knocks on the main door. There's actually uh there's actually a sign on the door that says please. <laughs> please, please. Oh okay. Oh I'm God damn it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta sort of my cheeks. This is so fucking funny. Okay, it says please proceed to the bathroom for your mission. <laughs> <laughs> like See, you I told right, you, I, 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 I thought you know. Okay, yeah, this is how it works all the time. <laughs> all right, I'm, I'm right behind <laughs> you. What I lead the what way? Does my life become? <laughs> I, I knowingly lead the way to the bathroom <laughs> in the building. <laughs> you, uh, we, we had to. We had to. You had enter. To. You enter into the bathroom. And it only has a single Yeah, we're all in we're all in one stall just like standing standing exactly. in the stall. So you enter the bathroom and there's only a single stall. Just like a single stall. So you all crowd into the stall and and what what do you what do you say, Merkin? Hey. We're ready to deliver whatever you have, the message, the mission. We're here. Suddenly, um, a piece of paper slides underneath the stall, and you hear a man button up his pants and the sound of a toilet flushing, even though there's only one in this entire room. This <laughs> is unbelievable. <laughs> you then hear, oh, fuck, oh, I really break, oh, just, oh, God, I'm crying. Hold on a second. It's a newspaper that's been uh, slid underneath. Uh, I'm going to post it in here. Whoever wishes to read it may do so. Um, there's three paragraphs. I recommend that each of you read one of them. I can start us off. All right. The God's Breath Gazetteer. Generations ago, a land was plundered by enemies Wait, whose hold names... On, hold on a second, Adam. I don't understand your very strange accent. Uh, who is this speaking right now? Uh, this is Harlow speaking. <laughs> there we go. Uh, sorry. The God's Breath Gazetteer. Generations ago, a land was plundered by enemies whose names are lost to time. Five gods came together to save as many of the land's beleaguered inhabitants as they could by taking them to a new home. Those the gods saved named their new land God's Breath, in honor of the deities who brought them across a vast sea to a new life. 
These inhabitants banded together to build strong communities and protect themselves from danger. From one generation to the next, they share stories of their past, of the distant lands of their ancestors, and of the unfulfilled promise of reunion with ancestors left behind in a lost land. In God's breath, danger and beauty walk hand in hand. Along the southern coast, the murky monsters stalk Nightwater Islands, support tight-knit communities whose colorful houses perch on stilts. On the mainland, rising from the shore of Nightwater Cove, stands Promise, a town of brightly painted buildings and bustling trade. Northward lies a band of crimson soil known as the Ribbon, the source of the land's agricultural prosperity which weaves through woods and floodplains. Beyond the ribbon spreads the treacherous land of the Rattle, a territory that might hold the key to Godbreath's future. Each year, Promises Streets are filled with people celebrating the Awakening Festival, which centers around retelling God's best path and reckoning with its presence. But every year, the struggle to survive becomes more dire. As the land sickens and monsters start to become more numerous, why the land is turning against its people is a mystery to the people of God's breath and a matter the gods remain silent about. Uh, 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 I don't know our mission, though. Is this like we a find out what's going on. Oh. Uh, the mission will become apparent, I see. Okay. The mission is vibes, so there's a correct assessment. Um, this is the... I'm running a third-level module. Uh, the other two third-level modules are a bit more obtuse. Um, once you get there, you will immediately understand what the fuck you have to do. Alright, uh, are there any preparations we would like to do beforehand? Um... Douglas exits the bathroom before anyone else decides to start using it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I don't think I have anything. No, I think I'm good to go here. I'm always battle. I'm always battle ready. Merkin's ready. Okay, I'm I'm really gonna regret saying this, but I'm gonna continue to make it so every time you receive your mission, it's inside the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I would I would be so disappointed if you didn't at this point. No is... I'm gonna allow all of you to riff as to how you get to God's breath. Oh. How do we ooh um I feel like I took the lead on the bathroom thing, so someone is welcome to jump in, or else I'm gonna come up with something even worse. What if what if in the corner there's there's the the magical bidet of transportation? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> so I know a particular pipe system that can get us there real quick. Where is it? I don't know yet. But I know it's here. I look around the Mario bathroom. style, go down the pipe. Uh, right. <laughs> is there a giant is there a giant pipe that will fit us? <laughs> oh my god, look at the giant pipe in the corner of the room. <laughs> Whoa. Is it a mushroom? I wasn't there before. Uh, Wait. Guess... Listen, I think I hear some noise coming uh, from inside. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> so, what the? There's a, there actually is in fact a very large pipe in the corner of the room and there's a very small sign to the right of it that says not for the other purpose mm. so we don't shit in it that must be our transport see Why would you I shit in a pipe, pipe. <laughs> all shit goes through pipes I hate all I guess that's yeah, true. I, I get up on the pipe and you hear the um boom, boom, boom sound. <laughs> it's like Carlos stands perfectly still for a moment and, and just shrinks like just lowers into the pipe by some unseen force. Whoa. I guess that's how we do it. All right. Douglas stands on the pipe and he just thur, thur, thur. Mark can follow suit. 
people are really testing my patience. So <laughs> you love us. Yeah, no, this is great. This is Spanish. I'm, I'm, I'm wiping away tears from laughter because this is fucking comedy platinum. Um, I can't wait to see what racially insensitive thing you do once you realize what the what the module is. So, uh, <clears throat> you find yourself uh, suddenly standing uh, in the middle of a dirt roadway. Uh, you're surrounded by large fields of withered sugar cane, a faint breeze smelling sweetly of honeysuckle with a faint warmth and humidity wafts over you. Um, in the distance, you see a sizable town. You can hear from here um, a commotion. Um, you can see banners strewn, fireworks going off, and the sound of drinking, laughter, and music. What would you like to do? Uh, uh, is there any anything else in any other direction? No. All right. <laughs> I think I know where the mission is, guys. That music and laughter sounds threatening. <laughs> I prepare my sword. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> yeah, guys. Let's give it. Let's give it a. Let's give it a shot first. All right, and then then we can. Oh, um, before heading towards town, I uh, double check my backpack and make sure I got toilet paper. Uh, because the uh the pipe left us outside the town, so obviously there's no plumbing in town. That is true. That's a good Whoa. one. That's actually so true. <laughs> uh, that is weirdly. What a what a well. <laughs> how what a weirdly articulate thing uh, for Jack to do. It, it's up on it's up on stilts. You don't want to look up when you're walking on the knee. <laughs> Oop. I will give you all your random encounter after. Uh, yeah, you see I this. think we yeah we'll walk towards. Okay. Let's do it. You are coming towards the town of Promise. You see large banners advertising the Awakening Festival. The streets are alive with vibrant mu music. Uh, various bards are moving through the crowd, recounting tales and wonders of the prior happenings of God's breath. Stories of whimsy and wonder. Uh, the performances of the bards melt together as passerby join in during choruses, uniting the entire community in a single collective celebration. There's an immense throng of wonder here. What would you all like to do? This is a town of musicals right now. Like, everyone is just breaking out into song. You are basically in Galavant, so that is correct. Um, oh can God. I perception check to see if all these bards are using magic while they talk? <sighs> yes. Actually, let me actually open this uh, fucking... Um... <clears throat> wow, really? Only oh. a 12? Shit, I feel so weak right now. This is amazing. Uh, with your 12, you deduce... Yes, the bards are, in fact, using magic to elicit the arcane from the gatherers. Uh, you all can see the map, right? Yeah. Nice. Okay, perfect. Is there anything else you would like to do? I think... As a uh, a trained guard, a bodyguard, Harlow would try to look for people in the crowd who seem to be acting abnormally or look like they're otherwise like hiding something or otherwise suspicious. So I'm just kind of surveying, surveying the area. Perception with advantage. Ooh. Uh, Give yourself eight, a okay. okay. Wait, wait, really? Advantage? Okay, actually, Nine. quick thing. Quick thing, so I don't have to see duplicate rolls. So if you hover over the number, you oh, that's it. right. Yeah. So uh, give me give me advantage on that eight really quick. I'll be a Christian and tolerate your nineteen. Um, but you got to roll over. All right, and wait. Actually, do it right. So I hover over the number. I hover over the die. Or the skill no, name is that right? No, you hover over the number and check. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so we're definitely going with 19. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, people are twirling and dancing and singing. Uh, buxom maidens and every and gallant lads are partaking in beverages. Hmm. Part of the crowd begins to sing another verse of the Awakening Song. You see eight people wearing the garb of farm folk wander into the midst. Rather than singing, they stare blankly. They being, then they begin to surge forward towards the celebrants with a tinge of malice. Rolling I think as soon as I see, yeah, yeah, all right. I said, we got, we got incoming. Can I use 
perception to try to figure out whether or not they look like they're in a trance or controlled or anything? Uh, let me check. There's actually a TC for this one. Man. Where the fuck is it? Uh... Oh, I can't roll in it. Well, do you want us to just roll initiative manually? Let me actually start the combat then. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I have to add you to the sheet, so. Gotcha. Oh, oh my god. Um, I added a fight announcer. Please tell me if it works. A fight announcer? Is it epic fight commenter or combat booster? It's uh, epic fight commentator. It should work. So if you roll initiative, it'll immediately give you some hilarious thing. So oh, go, ahead, go over to the combat tab and roll. <clears throat> What's your passive perception, uh, perception Merkin? Uh, is 22. Let's go. Uh, you nice. notice, um, you notice that the farmers have a kind of faint crimson swirl in their eyes, and there's a strange beleaguered cadence to their movements. How do you have a passive perception twenty-two? Observant. Uh he can see from all around his body. Yep. The eyes. The eyes. I got eyes on the back of my head. And this meat scar. <laughs> Holy shit. These farmers are rolling very well. <laughs> deadly, you know deadly farmers. Because fuck this. Fight. Oh, did everyone hear that? No. God fucking damn it. Okay. Go to the combat tracker. Click on the little combat tracker setting and set. Oh, uh, fight setting. commentator? Yeah. Set it because it's hilarious. Phuket. <laughs> I set it to epic. I don't know why it didn't do anything. It's, a it's fight commentator, isn't it? Yeah, it's fight commentator. That's my favorite one. I set it on. Oh, oh my Fun. god! <laughs> it's amazing, right? Okay, that uh, sounds like a uh, Dota. Uh, Douglas Chin up. It is your move. Uh, Basically, uh, everyone who is a man is hostile. All the ladies are not hostile. You readily attend uh, to this. The crowd. The books of maidens are our friends. The... So the one man. There's eight of them. There are eight. Oh wait. Hostile males. Are. What do they? What are they using as weapons? Uh, farming implements. They have faintly rusty sickles and things of that nature. Oh my god, that's perfect. <laughs> Um, how much movement speed do I have? God, I'm gonna feel so weak right now. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, Jack. This is your punishment. Okay, which one of these assholes is the one with uh, initiative? Uh, I initiative. Okay, you have it's no this idea. guy over here. Uh, don't think, just act. Be brecked, man. Be brecked. <clears throat> All right. I'm gonna run over to this mook. All right. And I'm going to use my sword to attack his sword. Uh, his rusty item. Oh, you're going to do it this arm? Yeah. Except I don't actually have the maneuver this arm. Uh, I don't think you can do that, Rob. Unless you actually have that. Um, yeah. Oh, then I guess I'll just run up to his face and go, boom! Yeah, it's not, it's not really that difficult. Uh, the crowd begins to panic at the commotion. Uh, the farmers have faintly rusty implements. Their eyes are covered in a crimson swirl. They are clearly under possession by something. Uh, a something that you cannot readily identify. Oh, um, you know what? There's a whole bunch of bards in the crowd. Bards have support spells, right? <clears throat> Can I call out to the bards for help? Uh... One of them looks at you, strums, and gives you a d6. Oh, well, I, I, I thought I meant, like, dispel whatever's on the farmers, but that works, I guess. Um, I'm going to use the flat of my blade to sort of smack around the farmer. I doubt you, they have much HP. Go, are you going to go with lethal or non-lethal? Non-lethal, that's why I'm using the flat of my blade. Uh, you sort of just thwonking them. Yeah, you can see the murmuring coming from the crowd. Where it's like, that's my uncle. What is he doing? What's wrong with him? 
uh, you can see that uh, this is clearly a possession scenario. Uh, go ahead and roll against whichever one you want. Mm. Is it the one to the south? South. Done. Cool. Um, <laughs> they, they, have the, they have the HP of a toddler. Um, so uh, I'm going to use my offhand to do one towards the north. God damn it. Hold on a second. It's doing that annoying thing where it's treating them all as being one stat block. <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, they have nine HP, so you box two of them. Uh, whenever cool. they're, whenever they get boxed, I'm just gonna move them over here. Okay. All right. Cool. Anything else? Um. Uh, yes. I'm gonna. Ooh, do I want to burn an action surge so early? No. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> And I call out to arrest them as, uh, Oi, stop. Uh, actually, <clears throat> the farmers, there's something wrong with them. But don't kill them. Right. We only kill potential friends' families. Yes. Right. Uh, one of the people in the crowd, <clears throat> a woman wearing colorful silks and a variety of other accoutrements, uh, begins to plead to the farmers to lay down their weapons and to embrace their family. Please, brothers, what is the oh, meaning Jesus. of this? And it is this lady here. Oh, no. Anything else, Jack? Uh, I'm going to move five feet closer to the ones above me, and that's my turn. Fairy chase. It's your turn. turn. <laughs> I fucking love fighting an answer. Uh, guys, I'm going to come over here. I think I have a weird ability. Uh, I'm just going to stab you once. Let's see if this works. Yeah. Yeah, no. You know what? Because I hate Jack. I'm going to pack tactics. And that is nothing. It's just blatant. <laughs> <laughs> Farmer 2 comes in is going to attack Harlow because fuck Adam. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, that hits. No, it doesn't. Oh no. <laughs> Enjoy your two. It's <laughs> still. Oh, <laughs> actually, can uh, I'm not gonna. I think I'm like caught off guard. That's why I don't take like my opportunity attack against him. Um. Oh goodness. Okay. Yeah, he misses. It. He rolled a nat one and has a one modifier. It is your turn. I'm not surprised. They're farmers. <clears throat> goodness. I might have to adjust some stat blocks here. Yep. I hope you all ready. It's your turn. Easiest combat encounter. I um. I'll uh. Ian, can I use an action to uh try and persuade people to like get back from the area? Uh, I want to call out and say, "Get back! These men are possessed. They know not what they do." Um, and I would like to try to get people to just clear out, basically. Uh, the commoners hear your call, and all the buxom ladies uh, move away from the fight. Oh, sweet. Cool. Um, and then, as a... Oh, it's not your turn yet. Oh, it's a... Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Oh, I heard the you are next, and then I was, like, bugging. Okay. Yeah, it's because it's uh, the next farmer. Uh, Jack, you so. actually get hit by that farmer for a grand total. I know, four damage. <laughs> Douglas! Amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna That's actually like 10% of my HP, so it is amazing. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, now it is Harlow's turn. Okay. Yeah, I will uh, take my first attack. Uh, I guess we are attacking non-lethally uh, on our guy there. Did you see the woman kind of pleading to take mercy upon the farmers? Uh, that is a miss, unfortunately, unless they get hit by a DC-8. Who are you bonking? Uh, this guy who just came up to me. <sighs> yeah, that is a miss. Okay. Um, I'll use my bonus action that I get from Polar Master then and attack uh, to do a, a D4. So I'll just roll again with the glaive. Oh, whoops. That hits. You deal five Perfect. Uh, no, it's just going to be a d4, because it's the uh, other end of the... Um, 
thing, so I only deal two damage there, unfortunately. I'm going to adjust your weapon so that is automatically accounted for. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. So there's a damage formula. I can actually do a 1d4 damage formula right here. Let me show you. So when you do the glaive, um, never mm -hmm. gonna, it's just going to add the d4. Let me get rid of that. You're fine. Let's make it a second weapon. Oh, yeah. You could uh, duplicate the glaive. And then oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. And do that, and then you use that for the secondary attack. Gotcha. Perfect. I'll do that. All right, perfect. Thank you, VTT. Is there anything else you want? Uh, ooh, um, it kind of just seems like all these people are like running in, causing chaos. Um, I don't want to necessarily abandon. Um, you said this woman over here is the one who is like calling out. Yeah, she's like pleading for the farmers to lay down their weapons. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll look at Merkel and I'll say, uh, "Can I leave you for a moment?" Sure. And then I'll like kind of rush over here. It's five, ten. I'll take an opportunity attack if that is what I must. It's gonna miss. Okay. And then I will uh, take up a position. I'll say, "Miss, you have to get out of here." She looks at you and says, "I can't abandon my kin. Something." You won't be abandoning him. Worry not. We'll make sure that they're safe. No, my presence is keeping them firm. I know I can persuade them out of this. Something has taken over their minds. Look at them! She gestures out at a lot of them with their swirled crimson eyes. I would I would say more, but I think six seconds is up. Oh, I think you're... <laughs> <laughs> I'm it will be your turn next. Okay, Merkin is going to move. So he lines up. I know with these guys. And he is going to use the decanter of endless water to kind of blast into them. Hopefully, maybe this will shock them and knock them down and get them, you know, out of their funk. If you're a hammer, everything is a nail. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think you just click it, and then I'll adjudicate because it has like a weird. Okay, usability. Um, a bonus action. DC 13 strength saving throw. All right. How do I it? How do I convert this to a vertical looking range of damage? I mean, it's fine. Uh, there's two of them in front of you. I'm just gonna treat it that way. Okay. Uh, one pass, one failed. This okay. one gets knocked prone. I will put him over here. Okay. I like it to is. imagine that uh, everyone we beat, we like just throw them over to the <laughs> side. Canonically, that These is guys are done. They're stacked like... My them. god. Anything else? Now, that was your bonus action. Well, if I can still move enough, I, I will just... Can I get to this person? You can use a ruler to check your distances. Oh, okay. So, Merkin is going to basically just push himself into this guy's face. So his bot, his face becomes engulfed within his goo. And that I'm hoping it'll freak him out. Uh, he's going to make a, uh, I guess this would be a whiz save. Uh, he fails. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> okay. Wait, actually, uh, he has advantage on this. Never mind. Yeah, he's scared shitless. <laughs> okay. Good. That's that's good. Anything I'm happy with that turn. No, that's good. That's that's good. Didn't hurt anyone. <sighs> okay, it's time for farmer. It is your turn. Uh, you know what? Because I fucking hate Jack. Uh, let's do this. Douglas! No! Oh no. Four damage. <laughs> I love how four damage is lethal. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> they stab him in the throat again. 
They they tried to stab him in the throat, but it goes right into the the gaping hole and does no damage. <laughs> that's all <already, laughs> the gaping hole that's already there. <laughs> yep. That was the wrong place, pal. Well, I'm gonna go attack Harlow. I'm gonna give this guy advantage because mm. otherwise he's never gonna hit Harlow. When he walks into my range, um, at ten feet, I want to uh, opportunity attack him with my glaive. How are you doing that? With my um, polearm master feet. Let me just read this really quick. Polearm master. Yeah, polearm master lets you op attack entering range. That's yeah. how you mm -hmm. get the polearm master sentinel scam. All right, go ahead. Yep. Sweet. Are you oh, God. fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, uh, uh, I imagine that you react kind of, um, overtly and oh no you're gonna make me kill him <laughs> yeah you you're shocked by a sudden approach and you jam the glaive straight into his body and pe actually oh, you're, you're, al you're allowed to dictate this how do you do this uh, adjudicate mm. threat. i'm like talking to this lady i'm like please ma'am you don't understand this is some kind of magical possession and like i just have like my glaive kind of off to the side and then she says like Look out or something. I see that she's looking. I like turn around and like my glaive just kind of smacks him across the side of the head with the flat of it. Just like just like kind of braining someone with a shovel, honestly. Uh you knock yeah. him unconscious, but he does deal that poor damage to you. Sure, 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 sure. I'll take it. You landed a hit. That's fair. It is your turn. Uh and the next guy is gonna go fucking bomb. <laughs> Wait. What? The fact that he still hits hits makes me think uh, of when he when he gets thonked, <clears throat> his sandals go flying in the air and his scimitar flies and hits him. Ah! Mm, yeah, no, I that's exactly him. what happens. That's yeah. what kills him. That's what gets him. <laughs> ah! <laughs> this guy's also hitting me. Yeah, he misses. Okay, gotcha. It is your turn. Uh, I have to hit Kirk. I think it does. Yep. Yes. Take your five damage. I love how five damage is actually like a bad touch moment. <laughs> like, it really is. <laughs> uh, one minute here. Some Coca Cola and some blueberries, uh, so I can prep myself for this fucking butt fucking people are delivering to me. Ugh. I just I just realized, Merc and Credenza's favorite enemy are humans and dwarves. Everyone here is human, but they uh, yeah. are also a minority. So I want you to really think about that for optics. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Well, it would be, your it would be racist if you didn't favor them because they were my minority. Yeah, because then he wouldn't be calling them human. Yeah, and in this in yeah. this area, I feel I feel like we're the minority. <laughs> God damn it, Andy. Yeah, I am literally Jack Harlow. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Douglas chin up is <laughs> your turn. All right, I'm a uh, bap another dude with the short sword. Uh, I would say north. Is uh, he still up? Uh, yeah, he's got two HP left. Uh, um, I'll I'll finish him off. I'll I'll knock him out. Oh my god! Uh, you brain the fuck out of him. He's gone. Oh, are you are you dual wielding? Drug yeah, I'm dual wielding. Oh, sick. Okay, so we got two kind the two kinds of fighters. Yeah. Um. Multiple genders. No, there's only two genders of fighter, Ian. <laughs> one is a cis fighter. Yeah. And one is trant. <laughs> Not a clue. 
Dual wielding is trans, actually. I have no idea how you would bark that down. All right. Um. Yeah, this gonna be my my turn. I honor your truth, gang. It's your turn. Okay, that's a dead farmer. It is your turn. Dead farmer. It's your turn. Okay, now I actually get a stab jack. Fuck jack. That is a miss. It's your turn. Thank you, announcer. God fucking damn it. Why can't you sons of bitches stab this asshole? All right, Harlow, it's your turn. All right, I'm just going to go for this guy here. 16. And uh, five damage. Uh, he's still up. You got anything still else? up? All right. I'll uh, go for the end. He's gone. It's a 13 to hit. And then, I don't know. Oh, I need to fix that weapon die. My bad. That shouldn't be an 11. I, I didn't fully edit the yeah. thing. Roll it again. Let me just... Yeah. Okay. My bad. One. <laughs> He's still up. Okay. Anything else? This guy's really tough. Um. No, that was my action. Bonus action. Uh, it's gonna be it. For I'm trying to save my maneuvers, I guess. Okay. Seems you like this next. is a pretty All right, Merc low, low I don't think I can get near enough to any. Yeah. Can't actually get to you. No. Mm, I guess I'll just get as far as I can. No, I can I can dash. Right? Just stab the guy next to you. I already he's already in, he's already terrified. He's not doing anything. That's true. He has to run away from you. Yeah. So I'm just gonna yeah, get to the problem. I'm doing fine. Yeah, at the very least <clears throat> I give him another target. I just can't wait to kill Douglas Chin up. <laughs> Over our dead body. <laughs> yeah, Douglas is our friend. Yes, kill them first. That can be arranged. Okay. So, is there anything else I can do after dashing here? Uh, you have bonus action. You have your bonus action, yeah. I don't think you get bonus action dash. Yeah. I'm. Uh, then he's he's fine. I'm good. At least gave him something else to attack. Alright, nothing else. Nope. It's your turn. Um, I'm gonna stab Jack, so fuck that guy. Actually, scimitars deal slashing damage, Ian, so they wouldn't be stabbing anyone. <laughs> wow. So anyway, uh, Adam's <laughs> is dead. Rock's <laughs> Oh, uh, quick side note. So yesterday I was running my other campaign, and uh, I made the joke about how a lich should just like walk up to a female character and do like power word kill, but the power word is contour your neck, and then they just die. Like, <laughs> wow, that's impressive. I love it. Okay, so that guy uh, missed because uh, that's just how it is. Your turn. Turn. It's your turn. Beautiful. And I have to stay up Harlow again, because fuck Harlow. Ugh! That's a miss. Unfortunate. And... It's your turn. Uh, fucking Farmer 17, Electric Boogaloo, because someone goes stab Harlow. <sighs> oh, he's going to come for me? Uh, I'm going to make my opportunity attack on him then. All right, go ahead. Yeah, and yeah. he's probably going to die, like, instantly. Oh, that is an 18 and 11 damage. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. This is why he's done so. <laughs> Wait, you know the um, you know the frying pan sound effect? 
that's what the glitch is. Exactly, it's exactly that, yeah. You know, honestly, if you all want sound effects to go in here, send them to me and I can actually. Attach oh my god. Them. No, seriously, I can attach that's... the sound effect to your weapon. So when you. Oh weapon, my god, that sounds like, amazing. Boom. That's crazy. I gotta find the perfect bog sound now. <laughs> yep. You okay. are next. Douglas, turn up. <laughs> it is your turn. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna go to the left. To the left. To the left. To the left. And this is gonna go to the right. Uh, the guy on the left is down? Yeah. Okay, this one's going to the right. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna... I wish this... Do I these guys have the AC of a toddler? No, go ahead and waste resources. Yeah, their AC is 12. You hit the guy. He's gone. It's the guy okay. to the right? Yeah. He's done. Alright, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to look to the guy in the south and say, Hey friend, I've knocked out a lot of your buddies. <clears throat> hey friend, I've knocked out a lot of your buddies. Do you want to wake up now or whatever? He just looks at you. He's ready to stab you. Cool. End my turn. It is your turn. It is your turn. It's your turn. It is your turn. Okay, I get to stab Jack, because fuck Jack. Wow. <sighs> Sorry, I get for giving you people a bunch of fucking magic items. Harlow, it is your turn. Uh, what kind of uh, hate Beautiful. crimes do you want to commit today? Uh, I'm, I'm committing no hate crimes. I am dispatching of... <laughs> rambunctious revelers uh, with the appropriate <laughs> level of force. Uh, that is Ooh. a 24 to hit. <laughs> 13 damage to this guy. Gone. <laughs> okay. Just, just gone. I, I, I flip him over onto this hay-covered roof with all the others. Um, I'd say, ma'am. And uh, Harlow, when he's in battle, he's wearing like a full knight helmet. Um, and then I uh, will charge over here. And I... I think I can still make this a bonus action attack if I'm on, if it's like on a different target. Let's double check the alarm, shall we? When you take the attack yes. action with only a glaive when you're wielding, you can use a button. Yep. So then that will be uh, 7, uh, it's 1d4 plus my strength mod, so that'll be 7 damage if a, on a, to this guy who's just right here. He's gone. <laughs> You bog him. My god. And Douglas, you are you alright? So, Merkin is going to just try to grapple and hold this guy down. What? Oh, Make yeah. ready. Your turn comes. What does grap grap Merkin grappling look like? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> it's just... Yeah, it just... Wait, just um, oozes out wasn't the, the guy to my left down already? Oh, he's already down? Yeah, the, yeah, the guy to my left took nine damage. He's gone. There's one guy left to, to your south. Yeah, so Harlow should have attacked the guy to my south. No, the guy to the left was destroyed by his attack. The only guy left now, after Harlow's turn, is the guy to the south. I think, I think we got this guy. Yeah, I, whatever. I don't think he's going to be able to kill us. Yeah, let's not, be, let's not be pedantic, okay? Like, you're going to be fine. Unless, he's, unless he will kill us, who knows? What do you... So what do you want? You want an athletic uh, kill. strength roll? Oh, you're going for the grapple? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you can do this like an athletics roll, usually. I, I think that's at contested athletics, typically, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Ooh, can I... Oh, no! Oh, my goodness. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> I have hurt my eyes. <laughs> So, this guy, this guy is Even just covered in strands of meat. He's like, I give up. I give up. Like, <laughs> Why did you attack us? Uh, let me read what the module says here. Uh, he remains silent. Uh, we're out of combat. Okay. Um, please, he, someone needs to see to these men. I uh, just call to this I group of women over here. Uh, the rest of the villagers approach and begin to tend to the wounds of those harmed by your actions. 
Um, the various possessed farmers are restrained. Uh, they say nothing. What would we like to do? Um, oh god. Magic isn't really my strong suit. Do any of you have any means of detecting spells or anything like that? No, but we're surrounded by bards. Let them earn their keep. <laughs> Actually, I believe... Oh, no. I lost it. I believe... I thought I had uh, the ability to read minds, but I think that has vanished from this version of my character. That's fine. Um, yep. I think Merkin is going to go up to the the purse, the lady up here, because she seems the most on the ball on the side. What what ha what happened just what happened just now? Why did they attack us? I have no idea. God damn it, I'm making you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's a heavy smoker. She's a cigarette mom now. So I have no idea. Uh, you know what? Uh, this module is obviously Haitian themed, so I'm just gonna lean in on the French. Uh, I have no idea. They just came in everywhere. They started attacking everyone. I can't really say. Um, this I never happened know. before. No, 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 no. I, I think the only thing I can recall is that uh, my precious. Hold on a second. I have to fucking see what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Oh, nothing's going to happen until you all make a bunch of checks and shit. She's like, I don't know. Um, Why don't you uh, examine the situation and see what we can uh, figure out? I will help tend to the wounded. Are uh, any of you injured? Uh, I have a quick question for you, if you don't mind. I do mind. You, wh oh, well, my apologies, but this question can't wait, actually. Uh, you, is that do you... Truth? Yes, do you, uh, these, these people who attacked us, um, do you know what they were doing just before this festival began? Do you know where they were, if they were all, uh, out? Uh, it looks like they're farmers. Were they all out the fields? Or otherwise, uh, do you know where they might have come from? Uh, you see her kind of lean a little bit and almost place some spectacles to her face and go, um, these are the farmers from the battle. They uh, live a few miles outside of town. It's actually mm. kind of strange to see her out here. That is the most, um, uh, kiss, kiss, uh, the most um, fertile region in the entire area. It's yes, I did the reading. If I remember correctly, it is a treacherous land, a territory that might hold the key to God breath future. End quote. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think that your friend is actually quite astute. Um, I do not know why they are acting in this manner. It must have been quite a journey to get here. Uh, sure, it, it seems that they are possessed by something. I am not skilled in mm. the arcane arts. Are any of you uh, perhaps capable no. of examining? No, well, but there's bards around here. They're not actually I don't... bards. They're just... They're just they're just musicians. Oh. But you said that the bards were emanating some kind of magic. It's like a weird thing in the module where technically during this one section you can get a one-off bonus. <clears throat> oh. So it's like it's like these bards all together are like one collective mediocre bard, kind of. Yeah, basically. Wow. Mm, that makes sense. Uh, they're like okay. a band. Just a, a um. I would like to go examine these unconscious men, see if there's anything they all have in common beyond, like, their general attire. Like, maybe they all have, like, a scar or something. Uh, what would you like to roll? Uh, I, I, I guess this would be investigation here. Let me see. Oh my guys. Bear with me one moment. Let me see what the module wants. Uh, it is Arcana or Religion. We'll give you something Ooh. here. Hmm. I guess I guess I'm feeling arconic today. Nope. And you know what? I won't yeah. use my second wind to buff that up. Wow. wow. Uh, yeah. um, we're all we're all collectively like 
Spider Man kneeling. Like, <laughs> you know what? Spider Man. Suddenly, I'm feeling very religious and fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, finally, oh, double thing. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a uh, give me give me thirty seconds, really quick. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, uh, I'm we, fine. What do we want to do now, Kane? Uh, well, Merck, Merck and Merck and got the that great uh, religion check. Fifteen, if you were still accepting that. Uh, yeah, I am. So, Merkin, you deduce that the where the fuck is the fucking? You see, their eyes are covered by a swirl of crimson, re- resembling bloody, unshed teardrops. You wow. Don't, you don't know what it means, but you can tell that they are possessed by something. What would you like to advise, Merkin Credenza? I am guessing that someone has either sent these guys in an attack or they came upon some kind of object or item that has bewitched them. I think we should go ahead toward where they were in the rattle. The rattle? A, stre- a, rattle. a treacherous stretch of land that holds the key to God's breath's future? <laughs> The very same. Wow. <laughs> I never thought I'd get to see the place. <laughs> Indeed. Fuck all. We must make our way there. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, gosh. Uh yeah, I'll grab a beer real quick and drink that. Um <laughs> and I guess we'll go. Hey, lady. We're going to go find out what it was they were doing, what they saw, who they met. Maybe we can get to the bottom of this. Um, as a lot of you were looking this over, uh, you can see Aunt Deli goes, Wait a minute, I see something a bit strange. Uh, she start, She looks and sees that one of the farmers is holding um, a kind of, a, let me read what the fuck this says, a crumpled sheet of parchment in her hand. She opens it to me. And you hear her say, Merde. She reveals it outwards, oh. showing a charcoal sketch of a child struggling to swim in dark water while being grasped at, grasped at by hands beneath the surface. That was a very good sketch. Not charcoal. much of an artist. I'm kind of mad that the module actually doesn't have an image of this, because the rest of the stuff in the module, it does, except for this. <laughs> like, I mm. want that charcoal sketch, Watsy. Um... Let's see what we have here. Because they couldn't get the AI to write, uh, make it. Probably. <laughs> not wrong. So. There actually... is a river around here. Is there not? Or more just so floodplains? It's kind of a marshy area. I think this marshy module area. is based off of Haitian culture, if I can tell, based off everything I've seen. Um, You can see Aunt Delhi. You can see Aunt yeah. Deli is a bit concerned. Well, that's the character. You don't know what her name is, but her name is Aunt Deli now. Congratulations. She's wearing a name tag. <laughs> Aunt she Deli. Goes, she goes, oh my gut. What, what's, what's wrong? I, I know the sketch. It was made by my goddaughter, Kiana. I know how she draws. But I haven't seen her in weeks. Why does this wow. woman have a sketch? When you say you haven't seen her, did something happen to her? Did she vanish? No, she's just been out in the rattle, running her farm. I just assumed mm-hmm. that she was doing so well, she didn't come to visit. Mm-hmm. I know what oh, this is. Yes. A friend of hers drowned out in Cradle Lace Lake while they were playing. That sucks. She she would always draw to distract herself from the pain. I don't know. It sounds like she would make a good member of our party. Yes. So the fact that one saying? of these guys has that, that sketch is not good. She said she was going to come for the Awakening Festival, but... Okay, I'm doing German again. I gotta think. Oh. Okay, there we go. I'm back <laughs> character. Beautiful. I thought that she was going to come for the Awakening Festival, but uh, she has not yet arrived. It is about a half day's travel away from Promise, where her farm is. Would you please do me the pleasure 
of going out and making sure that she is okay. Yeah, so let's to, to make our, our way to. Oh God! <clears throat> You're asking us to make our way beyond the ribbon to the rattle, a territory that might hold the key to God bless the future. Whoa! Hey, guys, let's do that. That sounds like a good plan. After all, that territory might hold the key to God's <laughs> breast. <laughs> My Anything. goodness, you're right. Even though the land is treacherous. <laughs> so, is there any advice you could give us, Aunt Nelly? She scrunches her brow and goes, I don't know where her farm is, but... um." If you head out to Zubatu, I imagine you might be able to find it. And um, if you bring her back, um, I will pay each of you 200 gold if you bring her safely back. What's her name? Kiana. 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 Okay. Can you we accept point us at least in the right direction? Um, It is out to the west. That is all I can tell you. I've never been to her farm. West Day eh? sounds treacherous. <laughs> Perhaps but I hold the key. It to could hold a God. key to the judgment of the future. <laughs> Guys, I'm worried someone's trying to get the key to God's best future. <laughs> My God, you're right. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hate all of you. <laughs> After all, according to Aunt Babe, she's been wandering. Rattle for weeks now. Maybe, Maybe she has found the key to God's <laughs> breath. Maybe she found the key. <laughs> oh my goodness. She can't hold the key and her sketch at the same time. It all makes perfect sense. I fucking hate the weight of responsibility for the future of God's breath is too mighty for one mortal to bear. <laughs> Not in such a treacherous land, for sure. <laughs> All right, we're really milking these two sentences. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna kill all of you. This shouldn't be as funny as it is. <laughs> I'm, fucking, uh, I'm fucking crying. Okay, so are we gonna go find out the key to God's tradition? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can, can Merkin heal a little bit? Do you have the ability to do so? Do we short rest, or is there not enough time for a short rest? Well, we um, this, we're can this can is she probably heal like... us? Because she acts if we were hurt. Yeah. Um, it says they dress the wounds of everyone except the party. The module's actually kind of a dick about this. Damn. Wow. Mm. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I'm fine. <laughs> A bunch of I'll, um, silence thoughts. A bunch of bucks and manums appear and begin to dress your wounds. Everyone regains <sighs> two HP. Hey. <laughs> Merkin starts doing as he normally does and assimilating into their culture. His skin is growing darker and his hair is changing. Everything no. is outer appearance. Becoming closer and closer. That's uh, Andy, I'm not looking over there. Andy, Andy, it's black as well. We can't do this. <laughs> we <laughs> okay. right. It's a celebration. We of we culture. head west. Hold on a second. Let me show you. Uh, the, the 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 module is actually weird as shit and has like two other random encounters up here. What the. <laughs> A broad-shouldered woman, I don't know why the module says this, wearing a multicolored dress that complements her dark skin, very strange, approaches boldly, sizing you up from beneath a stylish hat. I overheard your conversation with Aunt Dilly. Uh, you see, nothing important gets past Lady Dre. I hear you're bound for the rattle. Excellent. I'll accompany you. We should depart at once. Hang on. What are you looking for out in the rattle? Ah, I just have a concern for my fellow kinsmen. You mean you're not interested in the land that the treacherous <laughs> holds the key to God's <laughs> message? 
<laughs> okay, now we're, uh, we're beating a dead horse now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could hear it. Okay. Uh, it's a at good, this, well, at it's this a good moment, thing that there's Merkin a revival It's the spells. exact duplicate of this broad shouldered woman. But a, a different color, obviously. Where did Merkin go? <laughs> it's me. I'm right. Oh here. my god. <laughs> Um, yeah. so, well, I, he lowers his shoulders a little bit. You you very tastefully did not copy the skin tone, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I hear at this time of the month it's the wrong thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> let's um let's make Harlow. West then. Harlow, I'm concerned about your inability to recognize people. <laughs> what are you talking about, Mer I mean uh Douglas? Um, <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> Oh, Har Harlow looks off into the distance, and uh, it's uh, it's just an old flaw of mine, I guess. Give me an insight check, by the way. I'm kind of shocked nobody is doing insight checks in this game when you talk to people. I think we're just too preoccupied <laughs> with making doing wow, this in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow, none of you pass the fucking DC. This is shocking. It's like the DC of a toddler. It was fucking twelve. <laughs> we I have no knowledge. We go all right. Good, kind young, kind she, old lady. She extends out her hand, says, "I'm willing to offer you the service of my horses and carriage, so we do not have to trudge through the muck out west to the rattle." Does that sound like a fair trade, gentlemen? Actually, mm. can I just get advantage? Say someone else gives me the help action. No. Damn it. Uh, can I second wind and uh, roll a d10? It's pretty weird. Uh, you're going to win immediately. But yeah, go ahead. Well, waste, waste that feature. <laughs> Alright, fine. I won't. <laughs> okay, we'll use your horses. Thank you. Perfect. I am a little bit outside of town. I will mix a few preparations and mean for me out there, and we can proceed to the rattle. She gives well, you a faint curtsy and departs. All right. Uh, and everyone like my... gives me an intelligence. Everyone, give me a religion check. The DC on Ooh. this is fourteen, which I imagine none of you are going to succeed because you're all fucking dumb. What the fuck? Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Say that to my face. Say that to my face. So. Uh, the lot of you are preparing for your journey, and a human approaches you with scholarly guard. Merkin, and Merkin alone, recognizes him as a proclaimer of the covenant, a servant of the pantheon of local deities who seek new stories for the awakening song. He gives a faint gesture and asks the party, uh, gentlemen, what is your business here? Oh, we're going to go find out where where these guys were. What happened to them? They Zombies were controlled. Back there. It was bad news. Would you allow me to join you? I would be most inclined to assist you in your understanding of what has transpired amongst my kinsmen. Uh, yeah, but it's not our ride, so we're gonna need to ask uh, this lady. Oh, Lady Trey and I go back a very long time. She will not be concerned about my presence. Alright, what's your name? Did he say that in a way that made it seem like he is like some kind of god or something like that? No, he's legit. Uh, he actually, you could tell that he knows her and he is acting with such a flippant manner that you could tell that it'll be fine. The vibe checks out? Okay. Uh, my name is Tungsten. I don't know why the fuck they named this guy this. My name is Tungsten. Tung Tungsten Wood. Wow. That's heavy. It's actually a pretty cool name. Yeah, actually, it's pretty rad. Uh, the module actually has some pretty based art of this guy. Let me put it's almost here. as cool as Douglas Chin Up. <laughs> oh, this guy's... Oh, never mind. Before he even asked, I would have said, come with us. He looks so cool. <laughs> Wait, I didn't, I didn't see him? Oh, oh damn. Heck it's, pretty yeah. nice. it's pretty rad. Uh, let's be honest, it's pretty rad. Oh, there's the pant the pant cuffs are where it's at. Damn, I want to cuff my armor now. <laughs> if only you had such power. 
<clears throat> is there anything else we would like to do before we depart? Uh, I don't think there's any. No. Um, I pop into a bathroom to give the society my late the update on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can't, don't kill me, Ian. <laughs> no, no, that was funny. <laughs> so, okay. yeah. uh, sounds like he's dropping uh, yeah, some information. I, um, I take two of the scimitars from the farmers. Ooh. Oh, yeah, two scimitars in your inventory. Oh, yeah, I just realized you, you took away all my weapons. Oh, uh, hold on a second. Uh, no, we play? deleted Credenza 1. Uh, what did you have as weapons? Yeah, two sides. Just sides? Just sides. How the fuck do you spell sides? S D Y T H G. Two sides. Two sides. Three, Damn. three, five. Ah, ah, ah. How many times do I have to cite this whole one? Ha, 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 two. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know why, but it's not showing me sides when I look in here. Wouldn't it be? I think it would be sickle in a five e. Oh, that's right? true. It's sickles. Yep. How do you spell sickle? S i c k l e. Sickles. Fuck sickles. There we go. You have a sickle now. Oh no! Two sickles. Two sickles at the same time. That's what he does. He's, he wields them both at simultaneous. You'll see. You're gonna love it. They hate to see it. So, uh, the party boards Lady Dre's wagon along with Tungsten Ward. The journey from Promise leads north through the ribbon, where clustered farmhouses dot the dark red ground between stands of scattered woods. Eventually, the road dwindles to a track. The stands of trees grow denser and the farms fewer and further between as you near the lands called the Rattle. Uh, DC 14, nature check. You got it. Oh no. Ooh, look at 14. That. I have it. So, Mercury and Harlow, you can look out and see that the farms of the Ribbon are touched by blight and the animals are thin. Uh, Lady Dre sees a lot of you scrutinizing and goes, ah. The agriculture in this area has been deteriorating for years. What's we are, up? We're kind yeah. of forced uh, to farm the rattles so we can meet our needs. It is most unfortunate. So many so, people. So the only place that's been viable for growing food is the rattle. Is that what you're telling us? Yes. I uh, mm. don't know why, but there's some kind of curse upon the land. Some kind of curse. Nothing's changed recently, no... Nothing like that. No, it's been like this way for centuries. Do we think that there's some it. kind of divine thing? The module, Maybe actually, the module canonically is actually... Shut the fuck up, Jack. The module <laughs> is actually kind of weird about this. It does not explain why it's like this. It just, it's, just, it's just what it is. Douglas mm. um, rubs his eyes. I, he, I try. Yeah, Douglas rubs his eyes and looks out to the nature, and it's just like, <clears throat> I don't understand. Everything looks so fertile to me. <laughs> Where are you? Are, are you literally from the Shadowfell, Douglas? <laughs> no, what makes you think that? Did somebody tell you that? Oh, okay. Kill him. No, that was actually just racist of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Where Let's are the Shadokai from? Are they Remember from the Shadowfell? Yeah. I think they're from the Shadowfell. <laughs> they are from okay. the Shadowfell, which is very, very racist. I, I, I was more so about, you know what? You know what? I'm sorry. You're right. Merkin's right. We should get along. <laughs> it's drought history. Yeah. You have to be careful, okay? Okay. <laughs> it's another hug. Okay. <laughs> There's a small sign on the wagon that says "Hugs Mandatory." <laughs> Where we do a group hug with uh, uh Tungsten and uh, Lady Dre. Uh, oh yeah, they are, sure. they are baffled, but just presume that you have unusual. What do you? But they have the sign that says "All hugs are mandatory." <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, you got, you so we are pass by all these. Perception. We're passing by like dilapidated farms. Is does it like smell bad out here? Like, is there like the look of blight or um? Yeah, you can smell a kind of acrid stench about the air. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, things are a bit of miss here. Uh, 
You continue gotcha. your way past desolate farms, and you eventually arrive in the rattle, where things seem to be a little bit more vibrant. Uh, crops are healthier mm. than what you saw previously in the ribbon. Uh, give me a perception check. Perception. It's a five. Give me one second. Hey, let's go. Nice. Okay. I think I, I think I'm gonna adjust this encounter a little bit because I think uh, oh. yeah, I doubled it. It might beat the shit fucking shit out of you. All right. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Growls and excited yipping resound from the field surrounding a nearby farm. The source isn't clear, but from the motion of all the tall crops, something moves swiftly through the fields parallel to the road. Uh, Merkin and Douglas, you can note enormous dire wolves charge and uh, chase a farmer who is fleeing to the north. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, shit. Enormous dire wolves? Come on, dire wolves. TPK the fucking party. 16. Oh, fuck. The dire wolves go first. <laughs> I also oh, my God. Up. Well, they're going to go for that farmer first, right? Yeah, they want me. They want, uh... Actually, he's supposed to be, like, over here. Oh, God. That's... Terrible. Huh, okay then. Um, it actually says that uh, Aunt Deli and Ward hop off the wagon to protect the farmer, and then the wolves actually concentrate their focus on the party. Combat begins. <laughs> <laughs> fucking rad. Uh, God damn, they have a movement speed of 50 fucking feet? Holy shit. Um, I'm, I'm going to make that 60 to put you people uh, afraid. Uh, one of the dire wolves approaches and is going to attack uh, Harlan. Uh, and that is a miss. Uh, I'm going to opportunity attack it before it can get quite close to me, if that's all right. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Waste your reaction. Yes, waste my reaction. 17? 17 hit? Uh, yeah, that fucking hits. You fucking gonk. All right. Its speed will become zero then, at like as it uh, is 10 feet out, and then that'll be 14 damage. Okay. Sweet. Dire it's your turn. Uh, wasted reaction, and because of pack tactics, I can do this with advantage. Please crit, please crit, please crit. Uh, oh my god. Uh, you're gonna take 13 damage as the wolf lunges uh, and bites. Oh, yes. This is on me, right? Yeah, that's on you. And you have uh, okay. a DC 13 strength check, or you get knocked prone. Oh no! Okay, okay. DC 13, you said? Yeah, that's pretty. You could click right down there and see it says DC 13. Oh, perfect. Can I do athletics or is it only strength? Is it like a strength? Oh, strength, strength save. It's a raw strength save. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, you 16. Back. Wrestle the wolf to the ground. Wait, why does it say Jack? Let me fix that. His name is Douglas Jenna. Alrighty. Douglas Jenna, it is your turn. Um, I'm gonna stab the dire wolf in front of me. All right, go ahead. I should have given the wolf's magic or something. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, you hit the you fucking hit the wolf. Thanks. Uh, cool. Anything else? Yeah, I'm gonna do it again. Um, this time I'm using Vex, so this attack actually has an advantage. All right, go ahead. You hit the wolf. Wow. Cool. Um, that'll be it. All right. Uh, you Harlan, are next. Turn. Sweet. I'm going. Sorry, I was monkeying around with my token. I'm going to attack this. Um, which one? Is there one that's like more critically injured than the other one? No, right? Uh, they're actually, I think, about the same. All right, I'll go for south then. 
All right, go ahead. Uh, that's that's a 22 and 5, and then that will be my bonus action attack, 17 and 4 damage. Uh, you slice into the wolf. Uh, it looks at you like, really, man? I'm just doing my job. Like, <laughs> anything else? Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, I do the, like, gym face to the wolf, and then I, uh, that, I end my turn. Aunt Deli. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Uh, it is now the dire wolf's turn. I'm gonna go over they here. They pass. Oh my goodness. And what is your range? Ten feet. Mine is, yeah. Technically, the wolf is out of your range, so you're gonna have to gargle on me. And I'm gonna attack uh, Jack with a crit. You son of a bitch! <laughs> all right, that's all I can do. Oh my goodness. Now it is Merkin Credenza's turn. It will be your turn. Can Merkin next. attack? Can Merkin move up and to the left without getting an attack of opportunity from southwest here? Nah, you're. It's because the they're dire wolves, so they're large, so you're gonna get hit. So I. So I. Okay. So in that case, he will attack the one to the southwest then. So when Merkin goes into attack mode. His gelatinous form spreads out, so he basically is just two giant legs, and in the dead center are two sides that spin opposite of each other, like a battle bot. Jesus. <laughs> Holy shit. You have, uh, I was taught your Jedi ways, helicopters, two lightsabers. <laughs> mm-hmm. What we got? So, two attacks here. And go. And I assume it's still fine. Or did that hit or no? Yeah, that hit. They're, they're wolves. They're not made out of like cold rolled steel. Uh, you stabbed that... the wolf. You still fine though? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, not great no. though. And actually, he can use his power, which gives him what was it? One d eight psychic damage. Let's double check here. Here. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dread Ambusher. Once per turn, when you attack a creature and hit with a weapon, you can deal an extra 1d8 psychic damage to the target and forces to make a wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC. So, roll me the 1d8 psychic, and your spell save DC is 13, so I'm going to make a wisdom save on this wolf. If this wolf passes this, I'm a monkey's uncle. Okay, there we go. Uh, no. And extra six damage. The uh, yeah, not uh, not Christian for the wolf. Uh, Are you still going? He's still up. Then I attack. I attack again. Oh, didn't do as well. How are you? Attacking? That's the second. <clears throat> what? Because the second, the, the two sickles are spinning. Oh, it's your bonus. The two action. sickles are spinning, Eden. Let him <laughs> kill him. Alright, right, make your bonus action attack. Well, I did. It, it didn't do well. Oh yeah, you, yeah, you missed. Thank God. Anything else? No. The first, the first one kind of like knocked him away a little. Bit. No, that's it. Okay, Tungsten Ward is next. Uh, he's gonna pass his. It turn. is your turn. It is now Dire Wolf's turn. Uh, I changed my character up, by the way. Yeah, I saw I like that. Uh, okay. Bite Sweet. with pack tactics. Uh, God damn it, you fucking wolf. It is your turn. Uh, I gotta... I'm gonna attack... Uh, oh, oh no. my god! <laughs> you know what? Uh, eat, eat shit, Harlow. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> 17 damage? Oh my goodness. Uh, Har- Harlow spits out blood. I'm good. I'm good, guys. Don't worry about me. <laughs> um, I've got one HP left. <laughs> okay, oh, it is now Douglas Chinup's turn. Alright, it is now Douglas's turn. Um, I'm gonna attack this bitch in front of me. Alright, go ahead. Miss. That's a hit. The wolf is dead. Cool. Uh, describe how you brutally murder this innocent animal. Oh my. <laughs> innocent. Um, innocent. 
this innocent animal gets targeted by my short sword, and I plunge my blade into its eye uh, and hear... whisper into its ear, Bitch. <laughs> uh, the wolf responds uh, with, Have you never read Moby Dick? And then the wolf dies. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna target the wolf to the south of me. How are you targeting two two different times? Oh, the dual wielding. Uh, anyway. Yeah, uh, dual wielding. Uh, you're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I make your second attack. You fucking piece of shit. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna use Squire of Smalia. Ah, uh, well, no, nah, actually, I, I rolled so damn high. I'm not gonna bother. All right. Anything else? Um. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Harlow, make uh, ready. You your better, turn comes. Man, you, yep. you better nut up or uh, or die. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, I'll I'll like I'd like to clarify first that Harlow believes, as a matter of religious faith, that animals live in sin. So they these are actually aren't innocent wolves. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna attack this first. King. <laughs> That's a ten to hit. So right. The that wolf so cannot right. embrace Paylor as its lord and savior. Therefore, the wolf lives in was, sin. Yeah, all right. Uh, well, Except lore. Uh, um, I'll, uh, I'll, action, I'll uh, action surge here and uh, attack one more time. 16, and then can I... Uh, will you let me retroactively spend like maneuvers, Ian? No. Okay, so I won't do anything there. And uh, that is... That is uh, five damage, and then I'll second wind. Yeah, I highly recommend second wind. Six. That's my bad. I should have a roll for that. It's nine. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, 1d10 plus level. Oh, plus level. Right, right, right. Thank um, you. All right. I could probably make it so that it'll actually action type. Oh, wait. Does any... um? Which one of you guys has a... Uh, what do... What are you guys' ACs? 16. 19. Can I, um, Andy, can I do, uh, I have this maneuver, bait and switch. It will, as long as you're willing, we'll just basically swip, uh, swap places. Do it. Um, and we get an, a number of, uh, we get an, an amount of AC according to a D8 until the can, start of my next turn. It, I only accept this if, if for a moment... Merkin turns into a, a Taurus, and you dive through the middle of the donut <laughs> to swap places. <laughs> That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> it's like a... Um... Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So that is a D8. So you both get an additional four to our AC, and then we're swamped. Nice. All right. Whoop. Beautiful. And that's just um, me spending movement, Ian. Wait, why are there two of you? Oh, I didn't know how to delete the first one. Alright. Anything else? That's it. Okay, it's Aunt Deli and the... It is your turn. It is your turn. And, the, and now it is uh, Dire Wolf's turn. And uh, Dire Wolf is going to move over here. And I'm going to stab... Fuck should I stab? You know what? Fuck Jack. <sighs> I'm sorry, Douglas. <laughs> and make the strength saving throw to see if you get knocked from. What? Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking I wanna let's go. The wolf. Pro Dad. gamer fucking moment. I Make ready turn. your turn. Douglas, it seems like fate itself is against you. Why are they all Douglas, drunk? You're so, <laughs> Douglas, you're so good at fighting wolves. <laughs> so, okay, so which which wolf is in worse shape? The uh, one to your left. Okay, he's going to to spin spin up uh, the blades and go in. Six damage. Does that take it down? No. Uh, watch, then he's got it. One, watch, next one's going to be a crit. Oh. So close. Uh, that wolf is on the verge of death, 
Anything else, Gurkha? Uh, I don't think I can do anything to push him over the edge, unfortunately. Oh, wait. Can the decanter of endless water... Can that it work? It doesn't do damage. No, but I can, bl I can blow him away. Your, your fighting ability is once per turn equal to prof, so you can do it one more time. And if you roll a six, this thing dies. So roll your d8. Okay. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize I could do that every turn. It's up to your prof. You only have a prof of two, so this is... Uh, okay, well, that's better than nothing. And uh, I have to make a wisdom saving throw, which is going to fail. He passed! Ah! Bastard. <laughs> the, wolf the wolf doesn't give a shit about your chicanery. Anything else? That's it. Damn wise wolf. It's your, it's your turn. Okay, this is the wolf's turn. Uh, Bring it. Bring wolf, it on. The wolf is going to bite Merkin. And uh, gonna miss. How long is that? Is that for uh, AC bonus? Uh, for? In, until um, oh fuck! When the hell? When the hell was Harlow's turn? Because I deleted the token that actually had his thing on it. Oh, uh, I haven't had my turn yet. I know, but where where were you? I think you were right after the wolf, right? Oh, I was. Right, I thought I was right after Merc. Yeah, but you were right I, before Merc. I was right before you. No, you were oh, right before I'm Douglas. Yes, yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. you're twenty. So you go, okay. you go next. Okay. I'm, I'm up now. Hey, right, Harlow, it's your turn. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, I would like to, with my Glive, uh, attack over Merc and kind of like supporting him from behind. Uh, this uh, West Wolf. Stage left wolf. Stage left wolf. Uh, only a 10. Uh, can I use my human inspiration to uh, reroll? You mean your racial superiority? Yes. My racial <laughs> Wow. 18. Uh, 18 on the, 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 the uh, So 13 damage. The wolf uh, just gets split in half and explodes into blood sausage. By the light of Pelor, and I uh, attack the other wolf with the butt of the glaive. Only an 11 to hit, though. Miss. Yeah. Okay. And then... Anything else? That will be my... That will be my turn here. Uh, It'll be your Gina. turn next. I'm going uh, to do what I've been doing and stab twice. Wow, there it is. Hey. <laughs> Dude, <you laughs> oh my god. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Was that literally the next net 20 you rolled after the 20 on the strength save? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, what do you want to do now? Chin up, you're in the zone. <laughs> yeah, is it dead? No. Okay. I'm stabbed again. No advantage. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, decent bit of damage, at least. The d the wolf is still up, so, um, okay. Nothing else? Nope, that's it. Very, uh, Christian-based gameplay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, the wolf is gonna attempt to kill... Uh... <gasps> Wait, can I make a um attack of opportunity with my sentinel reaction? Oh wait, no, never mind, never mind. Is the wolf within five feet of me? Actually, uh, no. Ah, okay then. Okay. Mm. So you're attacking um Douglas? Yeah, I'm attacking Douglas Chin up. Now give me your strength save. This is the last thing this wolf is ever gonna do. Oh no. You're wrong. Uh, and take your 13 damage. Uh, you're on the verge of death. Uh, it is now Merkin Credenza's turn. Make ready Time to your turn, turn comes. This is the last... This, this wolf is gonna die. Unless you somehow... The wolf... Wait, actually... Dude, you don't kill the wolf! <laughs> now, Do it you, again. You kill the wolf. Jesus. It will be uh, your turn next. You slice into the wolf's, uh, just front and just slice his head clean off his body and explodes in a blood sausage delicious blood sausage uh combat is over congratulations everybody i kind of i kind of watch Merc's skin to see what happens when like the meat the blood sausage hits like the surface of him <laughs> i'm like just curious <laughs> it just kind of slowly vanishes into it wow 
Oh, is that second wind? All right, go, yeah. ahead and, go ahead and heal your asses up. Okay. Um, I've got cure wounds. I can cast four times. Oh, nice. Max roll. Hell yeah. Please stop. Please, I'm, I'm begging you with tears in my eyes. Please stop. Oh my goodness. Amazing. How much more do we need here? You're done. Uh, um, who'd you heal? I was healing... So healing Harlow. Wasn't Harlow down to like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was down, yeah. If I would love that. Thank you. Now where uh, where are we? I've got. I could use one my, my way. How much? I'm do you, probably uh, good. Nineteen. All right. Look at that. Hey. Yes. Okay. You know what? Uh, I think I'm good because I still have a second wind. So. Okay. In case of anything, I can uh, heal up a little bit. Wait. Uh, I two, can... two of you are fighters, and one of you is a ranger. Yeah. I'd like to thank you for making my job easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was I was telling Jack over the break like this is so martial. <laughs> oh yeah, a ranger, never done this. A ranger is kind of a race mixer, but we'll tolerate it. But like, I mean, it's I mean, it's a ranger. barely. Yeah. They're it's a half caster <laughs> and a <laughs> subpar spellist. Uh, okay. They're not. Like, rangers. They're not subject to uh, caster Jim Crow, so it's fine. <laughs> Wow. We we like stand around just kind of healing each other, like patting each other on the back, like good job. <laughs> good, job. <laughs> good job, Jim. Good job, Jim. Butt slaps all around, spanks all around, you know. And then uh, <laughs> we uh, uh, what are, these, are these people? <laughs> we killed these. You know, these wolves actually knew what they were doing. Uh, honestly, hey. that crit on that dire wolf was a clutch move. I'm actually glad I chopped it in half because I thought you guys would hit above. You would punch above your weight. Um. I think six wolves would have just been a TPK. Uh, so, yeah. Chopped it in half. All right. <clears throat> Lady Dre and Tungsten Ward appear. Um, there is another man with him. He dusts, up, dusts himself off and goes, Woo! Now that was something to watch. Thank you so much, gentlemen. No problem. Usually it takes, you know, we kill six wolves at a time. But, you know, we're, we're on vacation. I wouldn't be surprised. You seem to be quite sturdy. Ah, I think Thank you. What brings you out here to the battle? That was actually going to be my question to you. Would you? Did you see a group of farmers walking towards the festival earlier, uh, carrying farm like weapons, um, not really saying anything, just kind of moving sluggishly? Hmm, kind of rubs his chin. I don't remember seeing anyone, actually. I've been kind of staying inside. I only came outside to tend to some crops, and then some wolves started to attack me. Mm. And you didn't hear anything? No. Not at all. Um, are, then... <clears throat> are wolves usually a problem around here? Oh, they're prolific around here. It's a kind of a crisis. Crisis wolves, eh? Crisis wolves. <laughs> 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 Crisis wolf <world> counselor. <laughs> do you um do you know uh a Kiana by the way? Ah yes, she's in uh, the farm right up the road. Right up the right up this road. Uh, can I get just like asking for directions? Ah uh, yes, you'll go right this way. It's about Sweet. um about a mile, mile and a half. You'll be there in uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail. Thank you kindly, and then um I'll just. We anything else we want to know from this guy? No, no, we're, I... we we're good. <laughs> you already got the MacGuffin, so you don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, we we still have a situation. <laughs> we have All right, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, chances good, of this guy having any treasure on him? Sir, sir, uh, I'll I'll tell him, sir. We there are concerns of zombies in the area, so yeah. best just stay inside. All right. That's a good idea. I stay inside and smoke my pipe and wait for uh, everything else to uh, tie the ticket hurts me. That sounds, yeah. like a, sounds like a small plan. Don't open the door for anyone. Oh, not a soul. Not even myself. He gives you a wink. 
<laughs> Careful uh, how much you smoke. Wait, you might end up talking like me. Yeah, total pipe smoker, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that halfling kush. <laughs> oh, oh, God. All right, uh, I got to hit the can really quick. So let's take a, a minute bathroom break because the next section yeah. is... All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, I'm actually uh, one quick thing. I figured this was gonna last about two hours, and we're currently at hour one forty-five because uh, Watsi doesn't know how to write modules. <laughs> like, um, to really? be honest, though, this one is weirdly line here. It's like it's like it's literally on a railroad almost, with just a wagon. Like you go from A, B, C, and you're done. That's it, straightforward. I think this Dang. is a kind of nice demo of how things should tee up. Um, okay, let's see what we got. Gotcha. I mean, diff- this is definitely, like, AI-generated. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's actually, there's, um, there's actually, there's yeah, a, there's yeah. a lot of, like, little tiny details, but it requires you to ask really specific things to specific people. <laughs> okay. Would, you've traveled. Point, point C be where we're going right now? Yeah. So, after you've traveled about a mile from, uh, the guy's house. Uh, the open fields have all but vanished behind sparse woods at the far edge of the rattle. The air smells stagnant and carries the taste of metal. Through the trees, multiple small farmhouses hunch amid a patch of green fields. Suddenly, the ground begins to shake, causing the road ahead to ripple, but just as quickly as it started, the shaking fades away. Uh, give me a, intel- a nature check. Got it. You're asking these things of us, and we're all dumb. Ah! Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever. I agree with whatever Douglas and Burke can say because it's <laughs> I fold to peer pressure. I have no idea what the heck is going on. This is baffling me. Lady Dre and Proclaim Reward go. Huh. It must have been one of the bullets. They like to roam around as the grounds. They can snatch you right from the earth. Uh, don't be terrified. For some weird reason, even though the module has this in here where it says you can get attacked by a bullet, the module actually doesn't have any, which is fucking weird as shit. Uh, unless you weird goons actually want to fight a bullet, in which case, yes, I will put one in here. But oh. it will probably kill you, because that, <laughs> that is a CR5 monster that burrows underground. It will rock your shit. Rock your the shit. Bullet, <laughs> the bullet. Does it have our name on it? I see a bullet in the distance. It seems to have some kind of moniker on its forehead. It says, um, Little Bitch Eater. Ah, that seems to be you. <laughs> oh, crap. We got to avoid that area. <laughs> Steer clear that guy. <laughs> Clearly. Huh. Oh, okay. Um, everyone give me a dexterity saving throw, TC 15. 15. Oof. Oh my god, come on, come on. Oh three, out my. Three, three out of three, three out of three, three out of three. Ah! There it is! <laughs> oh, it is. Two um, ones in a row. The ground begins to tremble, and the wagon sinks into the earth. Uh, Douglas and Harlow brace themselves, but Merkin falls to the ground, and now I have to look up uh, a sinkhole battle map because somebody uh, failed up. Wait, oh, actually, no. uh, stuck wagon battle map. Let's see what we got here. Uh, oh, weirdly, uh, a lot of options here. Uh, it's actually pretty great. Uh, let me. Uh... Oh no! Is this the bullet fight? <laughs> no, I, I'm not kidding. Uh, the, oh, okay. the module says the module threatens you with bullets, but has no bullets in it, which is kind of weird. Okay. Now, of course, I could be a dick and make it happen anyway. Uh, you could kill us again. I think we think we die. No, uh, that dire wolf encounter was a little unchristian. So we're gonna. What CR were three dire wolves? <sighs> I mean, they can't be that big, right? Because yeah, they're like what, CR two, CR three. They're CR one. Uh, this module yeah, that we're in right now is a level three module. You are faintly overtuned for it, um, but as you can see, uh, dire wolves can still beat your fucking bussies in. So yeah, I think we could take on a bullet. You want it? Does everyone consent? Mm. 
Does everyone get that? <laughs> I think we steer clear from the bullet with the monocle that's just watching gonna, us from the field. <laughs> it's going to beat out what kind of pussies? It's going to beat your pussies in and then fuck them. And so you're just going to be bad. Okay, that, that doesn't sound that bad. Let's do this. Oh, I my got, God. I got you, Adam, you want to be a Chad? You want to be a Chad, Adam? You can send to uh, the bullet fight. Get your pussy. Pelor, Pelor, Pelor does not know the word pussy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I mean, if we want to fight a bullet, let's. we can do that. Oh, shit. Never mind. I just looked up a bullet. <laughs> They're star yeah. five. It's gonna, it's gonna, oh, they're really bad. They're gonna. It's gonna kick. It's gonna kick your fucking teeth in. They're CR five. It, it has a chance of one shotting each of us. It could oh, yeah, do I, an I, average of thirty hit points. No, we we definitely like. There's like an alternate universe where we fight the bullet and we definitely just like die. <laughs> Our I mean, I mean, I think there's a chance we can survive and kill it. True, but we have but to what burn shape like everything. Will we be in for the next for the for the final thing. Oh, yeah, I think we should, I we should fight a bullet on the way back after completing the mountain. Okay, we'll fight a bullet on, as a treat, as a treat. Like your style, <laughs> yeah. You and are. then we make new characters for Ian's game. Right. After, after we've gone up a level. Yeah, oh, good one. Here, wait a minute, I have to make some adjustment here. Oh my god. Uh, this map is freakishly small, it's because of the, the, I don't know why, but the thing I picked was uh, a little too tiny. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I might have a better version of it. I have to delete this map. No one do anything. We're going to load up Uncle Polder's farm again. Yeah, the uh, the bullet will um, the bullet will kill you. Like, let's let's not fuck around. It will kill you. It's a CR5 monster. Um, Let us fight the bullet on the way back. Uh, you just, don't, just, just you, to fuck around a little bit. You don't get a level up for beating this module. Ooh. Oh. You get a level up for beating three. But would Ian give us a level up? No. Would we? If we uh. kill the bullet, <laughs> the bullet will give us. A you know level. what? If you kill the bullet, I will give you a level up. Mm. But you have to fight the bullet right now. You have to fight the fucking Ooh. bullet right now. Right now. Right now. No what do you say, boys? I think I'm pretty sure this bullet kills us. <laughs> <laughs> I kinda, I, the only thing that stopped me is I kind of want to find find out what's going on in this. My, my yeah, I'm, I'm curious. As a right, character, Ian, is there a permanent consequence to us party wiping to the bullet? There have to be permanent the, consequences, or the, else there's no point. If the bullet, <laughs> if the bullet kills you, all of you, you each lose one magic item. But then you will be restored to life by Lady Dragon. No, we should just be dead, Ian. <laughs> just that's like that's like the gamble. That's like <laughs> you got it. Level, you know? All right, what do we want? We got to consent now. Do we want to fight the bullet? Do we want to go big or go straight? What do we want to do? No, I want I want to go to the end of the module. I want to see what what is causing this. I okay. think also, yeah. I think I'm also. Well, there will be bullets in the future. <laughs> we will seek sure. out. Bullets next. Yeah, the next bullet we see after this will kick its ass. <laughs> mm -hmm. We'll jump a bullet. We'll jump a bullet underground. Um, all right, all right. They have spoken. Can we pull? Um, can we pull Douglas out of the ground or uh, Mer Merkin out of the ground? Yeah, here one minute here. Or like up? Are they prone? Or oh my God, this is so fucking goddamn obnoxious. Stuck. I can. I, I think Merkin should be able to squeeze his way out of any situation. He can pass through. Squeeze his way out of any situation. He he, he can he, he can pass through a whole one inch in diameter. Yeah. Okay. Oh, sweet. Uh, Merkin, Perfect. go roll initiative oh. really quick because the module actually wants you to fight a bunch of crawling claws really quick. Done. Oh no. So make them roll normal. Hopefully one of them crits, otherwise you're just going to bog them. Because they have like 2 HP apiece. So this, this is going to be... Uh, all right. Uh, Only Merkin is fighting these guys? Yeah, Merkin's down there fighting for his life. Okay, Combat Merkin. begins. What do you want to do, Merkin? <laughs> Wait, is he like in a hole in the ground? Yeah, he is. He's like in a hole in the ground. He like got sunk in there. He's surrounded by crawling claws. 
All right, it's time after him, or is it like too tight? No, it's too tight. This this is all. Okay. Him. The power the uh, the power tool is is firing is sp spinning up. <laughs> Can you do that in the tiny hole in the ground? <laughs> it's di it's digging out. Uh, oh, oh true, true. Give me your secondary attack. They have like two HP. They're so fucking easy. To oh, play. that's oh. bad. Uh, can I? No, I guess. I guess that is it. I I'm trying to think. Like the psychic damage, I can't spread that around to other ones, right? It's just the one I hit. Yeah, uh, you miss on the second attack. Anything else? All right, all right, that's fine. No, bring it's your turn. Okay, crawling claw is going right. to attack. It's gonna make an attack. It's probably gonna miss. Do you miss? That's a miss. Okay. Uh, it's your turn. Number two is going to hop over here, right through you, really creepy like to get advantage. And he's gonna attack you. Cause it's like the oh, that's it. Uh, well, you get advantage. Uh, enjoy your uh, middling uh, five damage. Man. That doesn't feel good. Weird. It's not rolling the damage on this. Okay. Focus and I just watching it. It is your like, turn. <laughs> you just like watching hey, this. Like, you would you look at that? Read help, but it's not a bullet. <laughs> that it. All right, and that is going to be five. What the fuck? I keep fucking rolling max on this. God is good. <laughs> All right, now it is Merkin. You are turn. next. Well, Merkin is is going to turn and burn. Hopefully, he can get some. Oh no, this is bad. No, that their AC is twelve. That oh, bad. there it is. That, there it is. That misses. So crawling claw dead. It right. is your turn. Uh, crawling claw is going to hop over here. And he's gonna make his attack with advantage. And oh fuck! Uh, and that is gonna deal five. What the fuck? Why does it keep rolling five? I keep getting <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> no problem. Gee, can I, thought, I like pull I him we up? Can beat a bullet earlier. Can I pull him out? <laughs> <laughs> can't beat a crawling claw. Can I pull him out? <laughs> uh, you're you uh. I will give each of you one quick attack. Give me a quick attack to save this man from the mercy, from the nightmare that is me stabbing the shot. Like, like a, like a, like a weapon attack. Yeah. Each uh, of you. Okay. I can't. I can't. Okay. okay. They're both dead. Uh, you save his life. Oh my God, Murphy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Those crawling claws. Yeah. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, sorry, it took so long. So you can yeah. see. Can you uh get my crossbow bolt for me? <laughs> okay. There you go. More crawling claws attack. Give me a perception check. Everyone? Yep. Nothing. Uh so you have no idea what's going on. Uh you killed the crawling claws. Uh Lady Dre goes, Oh, it seems I'm stuck now. <sighs> well, I can manage to uh get uh, the wagon out of here. Uh, but maybe the three of you should go check the rest of the ranches and figure out what's going on. I'll be fine out here. What How convenient. Thinking. Okay. Well, we could probably just get the wagon up for you right now, no? Uh, the module, there are wolves out here. The module is super insistent that she does this on her own and you three fuck off to go investigate the houses. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> You know what? All right, I look. She's like jacked or something. Is she like she's gonna be? She's okay? like buff. She's like buff as fuck. Like like. This okay, is something okay. she's got to do on her own. She's, You'll she's, be fucking. She's <laughs> <out of position. laughs> this she's is ripped. this is her quest. Dommy, dommy, mommy ripped. Like you can tell she can do it herself. You're gonna offend oh, yeah. her if you, if you offer to help. You're right. You're right. We better just go check out the rest of these ranches. <laughs> um, Merkin's gonna cast cure wounds on himself a couple times. <laughs> go ahead. Man, I've been beating the shit out of you people. <laughs> yeah, well, is the is like the next um barn that we find the farm? We think that's gonna be Kiana's, right? Uh, there's like here, let me read what it wants next. It's a uh, right here. You're at the farming community that Kiana lives in. It's actually a variety of farms. I need each of you to roll me a d4. Mm -hmm. Uh, Douglas, can you re-roll yours? 
perfect. Uh, there are four houses here. Uh, you can see that three of them from this distance have a sloppily painted... Are, there's an enormous muddy red X painted on three of them. One doesn't have it. Uh, for the first three houses mm -hmm. with the X, uh, Merkin, there's a strange image painted on a wall in red mud. It depicts a cluster of arms with no central body or any kind of discernible center. It just seems to be composed of arms and hands. Oh, that could be the prawn claws, probably. Uh, Harlow, all of the windows are shattered in the home you investigate, and the shards of glass are coated with dried blood. And Douglas, your house, human bones, freshly gnawed by animals, litter the floor of every room in this farmhouse. You eventually settle on the remaining section, which is one lone farmhouse, which lacks the X. This large farmhouse appears abandoned like the smaller houses around it, but no X marks it. Farming implements lie abandoned in the mud, and wild plants have grown up to the house's faded wooden porch. The crops in the surrounding field appear cool. sickly. Weird. What do we want to do? I, I we think that there's something weird with this house. Let's knock. Couldn't hurt. Um, knock on the door. This is the power of Ultra Instinct. Kiana, are you in there? Silence greets you. I open the door. Um, I divine sense. Ooh. 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 No, wait, how do you divine sense? I don't have divine sense. Uh, <laughs> wait, I also divine sense. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> so the three of you are in the main hallway. Let me... Let me yeah. put what uh, what is in this room here, and no one look at what I'm doing. Oh, sorry. Holy shit! There's nothing in here. Okay, so uh, what do we want to do? You can see a bedroom, a dining room, a kitchen. There's like a small cellar. We like check all this out. It's all um. I'd investigate the kitchen. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm looking for signs of like I'm getting like like uh like black like black magic vibes. Sorry, not that time of month. Um, like, <laughs> but okay. you know, I mean, like, is this is look is this am I am I is my like spidey sense going off here uh, for give me, like give me kind of rituals or something going on? Give me a perception okay. check. Cool. Cool. Uh, God, we're just roll. rolling like dog water. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, I used use my second window. Oh my God, three, Dang. three. <laughs> this is Love wild. It. Um, you sense that something is wrong here, but you can't determine its locus. You enter into the building. Um, the doors you enter are closed but not locked. You barge into the central hallway. Uh, the furniture in the living room is haphazardly arranged and looks close to falling apart. Beneath, the floor is covered in hundreds of handprints painted using crimson mud. So you're presently, like, in here. Okay. The furniture look like it's been abandoned for a while? Like it's been long deteriorated? Uh, give me a perception check. Another. Ah! Uh, hey, I got better! Oh, wow, Harlow. Um, let me read what it says you get here. Uh, you notice a break in the pattern of the mud prints. Uh, you move the chair, and you see a muddy depiction of two children. One is reaching for the other, who is being dragged into the water by large hands. Scrapes in the muddy image form the name Cully. What would we like to go next? How is Cully so, spelled? Huh? C-U-L-L-E-Y. Okay. So this is, can we connect this to the, obviously this is like another angle of the drawing that, like this is that drowning friend of Kiana's. Yeah, yeah. you can reach the conclusion of that, yeah. yeah. Um, did we ask them anything else? I mean, we, oh, we left them. 
Did we would we have asked them any like details about like the death that might have been weird or anything or no? Uh, just that her friend Cully died years ago. It's like a weird mm-hmm. ancillary detail. You'd have to ask really specific questions to get this information. Okay. Gotcha. If we're done searching this room, let's move on to the next. Uh, where do we want to go? To the right or to the north? Uh, let's go. Let's go across. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. So so stage right here. Yeah. Check it out. This bedroom holds a bed and a writing desk for a single occupant. Most of the space is neat and orderly, but the desk is strewn with art supplies and scraps of paper bearing fragmented images. What would we like to do? What are the images? Same kind of stuff? You rifle through the paper on the desk, finding repeated images of hands, legs, and wide eyes looking up through water. Uh, Jesus. The largest work shows a pair of eyes with handprints for pupils. All these images look similar in style to the picture Aunt Deli found in Promise. Oh, there's also a chest in here. What would we like to do? I don't trust the chest, but um, um so, yeah. I will say no mimic. It's just a chest. It's it's seeming like whatever is related to causing or like this the drowning has to be related to like the the like blight then and everything, right? And like why the agriculture's going to shit. I think oh, yeah, I think the the red mud has got to has got to tie in with the red swirls in their eyes. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's check the chest. Chest then. Uh, investigation. You got it. <laughs> yes. Back on top. No way. <laughs> that is insane. It's actually crazy. Oh, uh, roll two d ten. Whoever goes first. You got it. Wait, what? Damn. So you find fifty-two gold worth of rings, wedding bands, and formal jewelry for men and women in the chest. Wait. Not like it's for... Is it, like, very nicely organized, or is it just, like, someone dumped all this in here? It is scattershot. Oh, do you think that, like, someone did something and, like, stole a bunch of people's jewelry? Uh, is 52 gold worth of jewelry a lot for what, uh, for around here? Maybe. That would definitely be a lot. Maybe that's why this house is wasn't marked with the X's. Someone's using. Someone's been using it. Yeah, it's pretty pretty grim. We should, as much as I hate parting with fifty two potential gold, I feel bad if we didn't make an effort to return this to people. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Good, Douglas. What about you? Do you been- promise? To- <laughs> I mean, um, the big lady said we'd each get two hundred gold. Yeah. Yeah. So, as long as she's good for that. Boy, um, what about the cellar? Is that through the kitchen? You want to go to the? You want to go to the cellar? It feels like we're going to the cellar. You want to check the other rooms first, or no? I mean, or we we should we should be thorough. We should be thorough. Yeah, I go yeah. Up straight north into that one. That looks like it. That is the dining room. All right, give me a investigation check. You see sixteen. All right, here we go. Here we go. What? Ten. Uh, no. I blew my second wind early. And my inspiration. Uh, I've got nothing else. Nothing. Um, absolutely fucking nothing. It's just also like a mess, though, like stuff strewn around, that kind of thing. Yeah, basically. Is it food? Is there food? A long plain table, a wooden sideboard, and several chairs lie shattered on the floor. The debris is streaked with crimson stains. The dining room has been ransacked, and red mud covers the furnishing and the floor. Oh, when you enter the room, you hear scratching sounds coming from underneath the table. What would you like to do? Ooh. Lift it up. Um, 
Do you do that, Merkin? You can, I kick, can I, like, kick the table over instead? You kick the table over, revealing uh, six crawling claws. Roll for no. it. No. Oh, not the crawling claws. <laughs> Fucking damn it. <laughs> well, at honestly, least we can all fight them this time. <laughs> uh, honestly, if a lot of you had just gone to the basement, it would have been a much better idea. Because... <laughs> I can't believe I fell for the old crawling claws under the, the table. Old crawling claws. <laughs> <laughs> the what old the fuck? One of the crawling claws beat you in initiative. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's the fastest crawling claw in the West. These claws <laughs> crawl really good. These claws. These claws are Fight. Crawl. Jesus. Uh, it's gonna come Our, over here and it's gonna stab uh, Birkin. And it's probably gonna these are like uh, severed hands, right? Yeah, they are. They die instantly. They have like two HP. Mm, uh, this is bad things. Yeah, unfortunately, got severed fucking, hand problem. He fucking bombed you. What the fuck? Why do I keep rolling? Time just to break. See? When you face the crawling Make claw. Ready. Your turn comes. While we're battling the crawling claws, can I like casually make a bet and just say that like, uh, hey, what about twenty five gold of what we earn if uh, the twist is that the kid who drowned has come back as a ghost to haunt the marsh, and that's why. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> what, who who wants to take? Anyone want to take me up on that? I, I'll do it. I'll give you twenty five of the gold that we get. No, I'm not gonna take that bet. A hundred gold, a hundred gold. All right, Douglas, chin up. It's your bet. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I'm gonna put down the two of them are dead. Gambling addict. Uh, two of them are dead. Make ready. That's... Your turn comes. It is your turn. Anything else? No, I, uh, I'm a marshal. That's what I do. Uh, it's gonna stab you. So true. That is a miss. It's your turn. Is going to stab Douglas. That is a miss. Man, now these rolls are fucking dog shit. Make okay, ready. Your, your turn comes. Either of those hit? Let's see what we have here. Uh, yeah, you knock out two of them. Bam. It will be your turn next. And bam. Make ready. Your turn comes. It All is right. your turn. I'm gonna go hit Harlow, even though Spy Neck. I'm gonna opportunity attack it. Alright, go ahead. Uh, that is a hit. It is dead. Okay. And yes. a, one more attack. Uh, that does not hit. Uh, it is now Harlow's turn. Based. If you somehow get like two net ones in this, I'll laugh. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. That would be fucked up. You bonk the clock. Combat is over. Okay. Okay. I Kool Aid Man style smash through the wall into the next room. <laughs> uh, you smash into the next room, and there in front of you are four farmers. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> what the hell? Oh no! <laughs> um. Hey now, guys, what's yeah. up with the claws? Now, there are My four. Bad, guys. The four farmers are actually uh, they're they have si they have sickles in their hands and they're staring at one another with crimson eyes and dots over their heads. They do not react to your entry into the room. This is actually what the module says about this. They're just uh, simply there. You don't actually yeah. have to fight them. The module says you can leave the room and they will not bother you. So they're okay. but this, all right, more zombies. Okay. Right by the cellar. How convenient. So, so are, are we all assuming that the rings are all just coming from the dead people when they ever when the crawling claws are created? They don't they don't like jewelry. Yeah, crawling claws don't. don't like jewelry. Yeah, gets in the way of their, their crawling. Ooh. It just chases. That's grim. Ooh, okay. Pretty fucked up. It is. <laughs> Who would do such a thing? Remember, Adam, do not Kool-Aid man through doors. Probably a bullet. 
Yeah, a bullet would do. <laughs> this was all that one bullet. All right, I gingerly, like, kind of navigate through these guys. I don't want to, like, touch them even. Uh, and do I see that door on the other side? Yeah. All right, I'll open that door and... Wait for everyone to come into the closet and... I guess we go down? Let's do it. All right, I Mario pipe down into the, uh, into the cellar. All right, let me read this really quick. Shawls bearing root vegetables and other food stuff line the walls of this unfinished cellar. The south wall is partially collapsed, revealing the dark, narrow tunnel. Uh, give me a perception check. Wow. Wendy. My rolls are so bad. <laughs> this, is terrible. <laughs> this, has been a, this has been impressive. These are fucking I things. call upon Lady Luck. I think Jack's been taking all the luck this time, actually. Yeah. 16. What do we see? Mm. Um. As you enter into the tunnel, you hear the faint, distant sound of a woman singing. Mm. Creepy. Can we like hear like what she's singing? You hear singing in common, which mm. describes a young woman saving her friend from drowning. It repeats over and over again. The tunnel The tunnel opens. Here let me show you. The tunnel opens into a lantern lit packed dirt chamber where the cause of the stench becomes. Oh, uh, it also smells like corpses in here. Where the cause of the stench becomes apparent. A dozen bodies lie strewn across the floor, all wearing the clothes of farmers. Many of their limbs have been cleanly removed and set into a sizable pile on the far side of the cavern. So, like, over here. In the okay. center of the room, a young woman is singing. What would you like to do? Kiara. Is she like singing, like dancing and singing, or is she just kind of like standing facing the wall singing? It's nervous, neurotic singing. She goes, mm. Please go, you shouldn't be here. Wait, Kiana, what's happening? You should stay. You should meet my friend Cully. He'll be here soon. Goodness. Um, can I incite her? Ghosts. Sort of read her body language even further, especially her eyes. Ah, yeah, actually, there's an insight check here. Go ahead. I, I, I'll i like 15. I'll get on that bus. Her eyes keep darting to the pile of limbs in the corner. I, I kind of like walk forward slowly. I just want to try to not make any sudden movements. I just want to say, like, Yana, we're, we're here to take you to see your family. She retreats backwards. You're missing. I say, like, or I say, like, you're missing the festival, Kiana. You don't want to miss the festival, right? She retreats backwards. Her back presses into the dirt, and you can see the faint give of her form against the dirt. And she says, "But, but Cully's going to be here soon." And she's looking at like the pile of limbs in the corner. Yep. And is this a, like a pile of limbs, like more limbs than one person could have? Definitely. Oh, God. And as you look at this, the limbs begin to assemble into an agglomeration of flesh. Let me actually send you what this creature looks like, because it's actually fucking creepy as fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Harlow shits himself. <laughs> uh, thing is, one ro uh, uh, roll 1d6 uh, disease damage. Oh, yeah, that's right out of the H.P. Lovecraft handbook there. All right. Oh my god, it smells terrible down here. Everyone roll initiative. Hey. Let's go. That wasn't horrible. I think uh, I think a lot of you might actually win this because it rolled last. All right. No legendary cool. actions. Let me just double check something really quick. Kill it, Douglas. Do it. 
Uh, Kiana sees right. the creature the rise power. to its haunches, and she retreats in terror. Uh, Douglas, chin up. It is your turn. Cool. Um, I'm going to stab it. And then I'm going to use uh, Squire of Somalia to roll a d8 uh, that gets added to my damage and also lets me roll at advantage. Uh, 13 damage. All right. No else? crit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stab it again. <laughs> uh, no! All right, let's go. Crit damage. All right, how do I roll the crit damage? Yeah, how do you roll the crit on this? Oh. Click to apply healing, temporary hit points. I guess it's just the double damage thing here. Um, I do it. So, I'm going to do it. Okay, I've applied your double damage. Anything else? Oh, wait, no. It says um, click to roll to critical damage. Oh, so 14? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Anything it's else? two little dicey symbols. Um, And then, screw it. Why not? Action Sage. Nice. If you kill this fucker before I get to um, do anything, I'm going to be fucking pissed. All right. Yep, that's my turn. Put on your pissed pants. Harlow, it is your turn. Alrighty, I want to move so that I am. Sorry. I want to move so that I'm between this creature and Kiana, and then I would also like to attack. I'll do a goading attack on the agglomeration. So it's going to need to make a wisdom saving throw, I believe. All right, go ahead and make your. And also, I'm going to make this attack. <sighs> what condition does this? Uh, Eighteen. Inflict? I believe it like kind of taunts it. It um, you okay. spend one superiority die, go the target into attacking you, add the superiority die to the attack roll, or has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than you until the end of my next turn. Okay. So it's a wisdom save? Yes. Ooh, that great. All right. It fails. Well, shaker. And then that's also going to be a, a total of 19 damage on the first attack, and then I will attack him with the other end of the glaive. Okay. Uh, four damage. That hits. And Anything it else? does have disadvantage. Uh, no, just, uh, just that. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will be your turn next. All right, Merkin, it's your turn. Just ruin my life, because you could probably kill this guy. I don't know the way I'm rolling. We'll see. Do it. Uh, that that a knife? Yep, that hits. Okay, and then that also add 1d8. All right, go ahead. Psychic damage. Oh, nice. Oh, just let me get one turn, guys. Anything else? No. Oh, that's a miss. There you go. There we go. That's good. I get one fucking. There, turn. back to back to my old rolling ways of two. It's your <laughs> turn. That's it. All right. Uh, bonus action. He's gonna target Harlow. Give me a DC sixteen Christmas saving throw. What? Um, you are now brain, you are now brain jacked. Uh, you are going to bonk. Uh, right bug. now. Uh, you're going to expend your reaction to attack Harlow. Oh, to attack, um, to attack Mer Merkin? No, to attack Harlow. I mean, to attack uh, Douglas. So. The oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I moved over to where, uh, to the right side. Oh. Would you want me to attack Merkin or still go for Douglas? Uh, bonk Merkin. Okay. Sorry, Merkin. I have to bonk you. It happened. Merkin, no, I'm sorry. This isn't me. <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm doing such a good job. <laughs> <laughs> the creature points at uh, Harlow and goes, Be with us forever. And then you uh -huh. stab uh, Merkin. Again? No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, you're just narrating. Sorry. He's <laughs> like, What? You know what? This guy's got to be a good hugger, I'm guessing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we have been doing a lot of hugs. We have. 
right. And uh, his family might be dead. <laughs> that's what he's been probably putting up all those signs. <laughs> yeah. My God. Agglomeration, do you want to join the party? All right, let's see here. Yeah, I, I, I like hugging. Uh, the creature is going to bonk uh, Harlow. What? <laughs> wow. Son of a... 24? <laughs> All right, I'm still up. Uh, this is actually hilarious. Um, make a DC 14 con save. Oof, okay. Ah, 16. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, I'm ruined. My armor is like crushed like a tin can. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I have. Wait, Ian, I have adamantium plate. I'm unaffected by a critical hit. <laughs> do you really? Yeah, I do. You know, I don't like you anymore, right? <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> Uh, that means you take, uh, just, you take 12 damage instead. 12 damage, I'll take it. Uh, you still ought to make that save, though, so you're fine. Yeah. Sweet. Sorry, Ian. Um. Actually, I'm not sorry. As the creature, uh, slashes at you, you see the vitality of your body flow into it, and it regains HP equal to the damage dealt. Oh, no. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, I don't know why, but it, like, it got rid of you. Mm. Run next. Your turn comes. I'm going to attack it. Uh, no, because you are still oh. mind jacked by it. I'm still mind jacked. Turn. Yep. Can I make a save against it? Uh, yeah, at the end of your next turn. Uh, okay. The end of oh. your next turn. Ooh. Yep. Douglas, it is your turn. How uh, how healthy is this thing looking? You're you're probably gonna kill him right now. Go ahead. Okay, no crit. <clears throat> God, is good. Oh, never mind. Dang. Um. You know, okay. let's add that other D8 that I have available. Excuse me. Nice. Uh, the creature explodes. Uh, turning, yes. Turning into seven crawling spots. <laughs> oh, oh, my crawling God. Crawling <laughs> Am I still brain jacked against the crawling claws? You are. Uh, this creature has. Uh, no. Oh lord! Oh, lord. <laughs> what are they rolling with it? They all roll amazing. I am a so many crawling claws. Uh, crawling Wait, claws. I was too. about to go next, and now five have jumped ahead of me in line. Wow, I that's love terrible. It. Uh, whenever you kill this guy, he explodes in the crawling claws, and it's amazing. You have to kill You're the crawling claws, oh, otherwise he simply regenerates and comes back later. So make sure that no crawling claws escape. Oh, damn All right. It. I mean, uh, first we're going to try to survive. And I'm still brain jacked? Like, oh, yes, dude. until the crawling claws are killed. Uh, <laughs> that is a miss. It's your turn. Uh, Crawling Claw 2 Electric Boot Glue is going to attack Merkin. Oh, that is a miss. He punches himself. It is your claw. turn. Uh, Crawling Claw is going to swap to the other side of Merkin, because fuck Merkin, and can do this with advantage, because otherwise I'm not going to hit you. Oh, no. And watch, it's going to be five. Why is it always, oh, five? Five. Five, always five? Five bludgeoning damage. It's your turn. Claw and Claw 2 Electric Boot Glue is going to bonk uh, Dougie uh, with advantage. And that is five. Douglas! No! <laughs> it's and your turn. Claw and Claw 5 is going to go over here and bonk Douglas again. Claw. And advantage. Oh, God, it's good. Wait, how do I make this critical? Uh, wait, how did you make a critical damage? How'd you make a critical damage? Doesn't it do it automatically? No, it didn't, weirdly enough. I don't know why, but the, it's like really screwy mm. with this. Just make it eight. Let's roll it again. This is on it's seven Douglas? Damage. Yeah, it's seven damage on Dougie. Damn. Uh, now it is... You are next. Alright, let's, let's get some decent rolls here. Nope. Terrible. 
What do I need to hit these throwing claws? Twelve. Uh, wow. Oh. There, there we go. go. Uh, which, one do you, which one do you want to bonk? You can just hold down your mouse button to indicate which one you want to die. That one down oh, there in the south. And no, I'll get this guy. Oh, never mind. That's fine. Okay. And now it's your turn. Three electric boogaloo is gonna come over here, and he's gonna try to bonk Merkin with advantage. And yeah. it's gonna be two yeah. damage. Wow, look at that. We oh, uh, <laughs> finally. Uh, it will be your turn, turn next. Uh, go beat up uh, one attack on Merkin and one attack on Dougie. No. Um. Okay. Watch crit and crit. <laughs> Uh, then oh, there's nothing they can do get, about this. And oh, uh, and you get flanking because of the crawling claws because they count as your ally. What? <laughs> can I can I be resisting the flanking for this? These claws on the ground are flanking. <laughs> Come on, oh, don't make me do anything. <laughs> no, the uh, clock. Can I like? Can I like in my? In, can I? Can I like pull out my hand axe instead? No. One attack on each of them at advantage. Uh, <laughs> He's like, cool. I don't, I don't want to. Well, I'm sorry, missed. guys. I'm <laughs> you, sorry. Missed, you missed Merkin <laughs> anyway. Okay, now do it to Dougie. Oh, okay. my goodness. Thank God. Crit, crit, crit. Okay, now oh. action surge and do it again. What? <laughs> Use action surge? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious, right? Are you fucking with me right now, Ian? I'm not fucking with you. Action search and one attack on hey, each of these bastards. Ian, I'm, Ian, we're enemies now. This is, this well, is action search would only give him his action back, not his bonus. True, true, Jack, true, Jack. You're so right. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, direct that at Merkin advantage. Okay, that hits me. All right, just six damage. Six damage. I'm ready. I'm sorry, Merkin. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Like I really wouldn't have hurt you, but I didn't. Oh, and I can make my save now, right? Yeah, you can make your save now. It's a DC okay. 16. Watch uh, Watch. Ah! Oh, okay, okay. You're free. You're free. I, okay. I burst into tears. <laughs> I don't want to hurt right. you. Now, Crawling Claw is going to stab Dougie with advantage. They're flanking. Two, That's bludgeoning. Two bludgeoning damage. Now Make it's ready. Turn. Your turn comes. Okay, cool. Um, the two closest to me. Yeah, you just gotta beat a twelve. You beat a twelve, they die. Dead and dead. Nice. Jeez. All right. Actually, can I take that back? No. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's your turn. Closer. Uh, no more. Adv Actually, I'm just gonna slink over here and be a dick, and we're gonna do an attack on Gurkin with advantage, and that is a miss. Uh, we're gonna go it is your turn. gonna slip over here and get some flanking, and we're gonna do this fucking shit again with advantage. Oh, can I? On uh, actually, yeah, you could do a reaction attack on that guy. Go ahead. Sweet. Okay. Actually, no, they were in your reach the entire time. So no, when they move in my reach, I can attack them. Oh, uh, okay. So go ahead. As long as you get a twelve, yeah, he's, 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 he's dead. Yeah, okay. He's dead. Oh, uh, was that the rule? He's dead. I'm gonna count that. Oh, as yeah, yeah. He's dead. Okay. Now it's you Merkin's are next. Turn. All right. I, you know what I think is causing the bad rolls? I haven't, I haven't given them like an irony line. So I'm gonna say, prepare to be disarmed. <laughs> <laughs> now oh, I still <laughs> missed the second one. Got one though. Good actually, job. That was, actually, that was funny though. Do you know what you could do? Is you could just simply move five feet to the northeast, and you would get flanking. <laughs> Can we like just step on them? There. <laughs> yeah, and you get flanking on that one. So roll advantage on that. All right, dude. Watch him be an eleven. Ah! Nope. <laughs> okay, you can attack one more time with advantage. What is with your? Well, this one. Oh, this one doesn't matter. Oh, you did that one up there? Uh, okay. Uh, you bonked one of them. Isn't that what I was supposed to do? Yeah, you got him. You bonked one of them. All right, Harlow, it is your turn. Uh, you're actually still possessed. Sorry, not sorry. So you have to. I'm still. No, I saved Ian. What? Yeah, I know. I know. I'm being a dick. You're 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 free to 
to ruin the rest of the encounter. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> All righty. I thought... <laughs> if the only thing that not makes it ruined is our deaths. I know this. <laughs> and then... Okay. That's to the other one. Yeah, they're dead. Uh, I'm, like, you, stomping on them. You have permanently killed the Soul Shaker. Uh... Let's see what we have here. Are you guys alright? <laughs> uh, Kiana goes unconscious. What would you like to do? I'll go pick her up. Right. Medicine check, I guess? Uh, yeah, DC 14. <laughs> <laughs> Can I investigate, like, where the uh, Soul Shaker was? See if there's any, like, artifact or anything like that that's been left behind? Uh, weirdly enough, there's. It says that when you kill it, it, it just evaporates into nothing. It's kind of mm. weird. Strange. After we like killed all the crawling claws. Yeah, you actually permanently killed it. If any of those claws got away, it would reform. It's basically eternal. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a hand lich. Gotcha. A hand lich. A hand. Why did I make crawling claws my favorite enemy? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. Alright, uh, Harlow, give me a medicine check. Unless you don't care about women. Uh, well, frantically pushing now, medicine. Now, frankly, I wouldn't. Um, oh, you did it. Um, you tell that Kiana is sleep deprived, has been tormented by this strange creature, so she will be unconscious for quite some time. What would you like to do now? I think she'll be out for a while. Um, we search this area around here, right? Yeah, we still don't know what caused this to happen in the first place. No. Can we maybe... Oh, should we check on, like, those zombies that are up there? Have they, like, gone crazy or anything? Yeah, uh, you go upstairs, and the farmers have been released from the grasp of the Soul Shaker. That was the creature that was controlling Ooh. all of them. And they go, what? what happened? Where are we? Perfect. I give them uh, Kiana for a moment. I say, don't let anything happen to her, and then I go back to help search the cellar. I, uh, everyone give me a perception check. Got it. Actually, investigation on this one. Oh, shoot, sorry. Yeah, investigation. Roll me a D100, Harlow and Douglas, and before you fucking roll it, uh, give me a range of 20 numbers. 60 to 80. Okay, I'll Harlow. do... Um... If I if I do the same range of numbers, uh, do we get something even better? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll, do, I'll do, also do sixty to eighty. <laughs> All right, give me a D one hundred. No! <laughs> Got it. Well, you both didn't pass, so I'm sorry. Uh, Douglas did though. Give me a D four, Dougie. Hold on a second. So one, two, three. Okay. Roll me a D twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Huh, okay. Um, you find a single potion. It has an eyeball suspended in a yellowish liquid. I will place it in your inventory, Douglas. That's really gross, Douglas. Oh my god. <laughs> I would drink that right away. I mean... Fair enough, I guess. And, oh, okay. And, and to be a Christian, since a lot of you got your pussies handed in, everyone gets... Let me see here. Everyone finds one potion of healing. What? Seven. Thanks. Alright, uh, let's close out the scenario, because we are actually faintly... 
about two hours and 45 minutes. A little longer than I thought, but that was mainly us talking about how this is the future of God's breath for probably like 20 minutes. So. <laughs> hey, that was iconic. That was iconic. Uh, and we and, and we did secure the future of God's breath. Thank you very much. You sure did. They were... That hand guy was going to mess him up. I think you're yeah. awesome. You make your way back over to Lady Dre and Investigator Ward and Tungsten Ward. They go, "Huh, you got to see." Uh, they embrace Kiana and start, you know, putting like a wet cloth over her forehead and what have you. Did you learn anything while you were down there? Yeah, I learned to hate crawling claws. <laughs> yeah, there's a hand problem out here. Um, nothing we couldn't handle. Obviously, you weren't handling it. Well, yeah, actually, that's a good point. We handled it. Um, we're gonna need to get back into town to talk to Auntie. What was her name again? Uh, Auntie Delia. Auntie Delia. Delia. Yeah. Uh, the farmers uh, that you found in the building, uh, thank you for bringing them from the curse, and they reward you with a Heward's Handy Haversack. Oh. Now, uh, who's going to open it? I'll open it. Okay, Go so it. this is hilarious. Uh, a crawling claw emerges from it. Um, it's gonna... I attack these farmers. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kill every one of them. Here, I will actually put, so you don't think that I'm fucking bamboozling here. This is what it says. I, I I will actually, like, go up to one of those farmers and be like, what the fuck, dude? And it's like, we didn't know of it since Anyway, you can Why would you do it. that? Uh, make it a reaction attack really quick to see if you kill it instantly. Otherwise, I'm going to make it yeah, attack sure. you, because fuck you. Oh, well. well, thank you, thank you. Uh, you slice it in half and it disintegrates into dust. Uh, congratulations. Add a Heward's handy haversack to your inventory. No way. It's just, it's just the crawling claw module. Uh, I, seriously, every single area is like, by the way, there's crawling claws in here. There are like so many of them. They're everywhere. <laughs> like, so, it, it, there's only the one, right? Yeah, that was it. That's actually the end. Yeah, of you can have it. Um, None of the other forward. crawling claws are, are going to reform into that thing, though, right? No, only I the think calling claws that spawn balls. from when you kill it are the ones that do it. Okay. Yeah. I'll give the sack to uh to uh Merkin and Douglas. I and then, yeah. Is it basically a, a a bag of holding? It is a weirder version of a bag of holding. Um It just whatever it it's basically Whenever you want an item from it as an action, it immediately appears yeah. in your hand. So, like, regardless of where you put it, unlike a bag of holding where you technically have to sift around for it, it's a pretty mm. good item. So, whichever one of you wants it, uh, you're welcome to take it. I think it, it would probably fit Merkin the best, to be honest. All right, I can, I can give someone else my bag of holding then, because this will do the same thing, right? Yeah, it's actually and better. Then, yeah, you you like yeah. plop out your slime covered bag of holding mm -hmm. <laughs> here and uh, dump it out into uh, the haversack. Uh, roll me a d4. You're kidding. <laughs> yeah. a, a crawling claw Me. emerges. <laughs> I attack it. I attack it instantly. Uh, use a reaction attack. Wow, you hit it. You kill the crawling claw. That's the last oh crawling my claw. I God. <laughs> this He's is lying. Like, this is the crawling claw you know, module, honestly. I don't want to. I don't want to touch those bags, honestly. <laughs> that's, okay, that's so I am sick of these motherfucking crawling claws and these motherfucking bags. <laughs> this module has so many fucking crawling claws. So I'll get. I'll get. I'll like explain the the cliff notes of what like what we kind of learned. She goes, ah, interesting. Well, uh, we should head back to Aunt Deli. I imagine she will be tickled pink to have a lot of you back and Kiana safe. Um, yeah. The hour, she will. Uh, on your hour back, 
to town. You are welcome to take a short rest. Because, uh, you are welcome to take a long rest, because uh, you actually managed to get a pretty solid nap in from here to there. And if you all want, um, we can do a no questions asked, no consequences, beat the shit out of a bullet. And if you do it, maybe you'll get a level up. And if you don't, that's just that's just how it is. If I you, only want to do it if there's consequences and if we get a level up if we win. Uh, the consequence is uh, the bullet will eat one of your items if you die. I want I want to die permanently and if if I fail. And then you have to make a brand new character, and then we have to do this rigmarole all over again. Yes, because uh, that's that's what the only thing I can put on the line for these. All right, I'll think about Plus, it. It's not real. <laughs> okay, so but only if everyone's okay with that. You... I don't think we have a chance, but what the heck? No, actually, I do have to go to bed, though. I have to. Oh. Uh... All right. Sorry. Uh, so you get back to Anti Delhi. Uh, all the other farmers have reconstituted themselves. Um, they're pleased and they thank the party. Uh, each of them, uh, there was like what, like eight farmers. Uh, each of them gives you a piece of gold. So you can add eight gold to your inventory, each of you. And Auntie Deli gives you your promised 200 gold apiece. So you earn 208 gold from this mission, and she gives you Beautiful. each a potion of healing. So you have two potions of healing. She says, Thank you so much. I'm glad to have my Kiana back. I will nurse her back to health. And anytime you are in the area, you will be our honored guests. And Thanks. she gives you I... a faint bow. Oh, but just uh, so you know, Kiana's probably going to be having a lot of night terrors from now on. So just uh, be aware. She's been through some stuff. Oh, we could yeah, take care of that. You should, you should investigate, like, I don't know, drowning deaths or whatever. You don't want to spawn another one of these hand monsters. Yeah, it was uh, bad news. That's very unfortunate. It is a shame when things go awry like this. But, I think well, you all, you have done us a great service. Is there anything else that you need? Yeah, um, yeah you can give the Society a uh, five-star review. Hero Finder. And, uh, like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe. I don't know what you mean. Um... Actually, I have one more thing for you. Uh, she reaches into our pockets and she pulls out a stone and she hands it to you, Harlow. And says, yeah. ah, I've always found that this thing has uh, given me an edge in certain circumstances. Perhaps it will grant it luck to you. And she gives you a faint curtsy. Um, what would a lot of you like to do now? Uh or is it like expected that we go back, or is it do we like chill out and then they like extract us at some point? Uh, a an enormous black chinook appear appears out of oh. nowhere. <laughs> wait, oh wait, no, there should be like another pipe, like a pipe like rises from the ground. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, or like falls, or like falls from the sea, like the sky. No, like no, extends all the way down. So there's an outhouse nearby, and the door mysteriously opens of its own volition. You know what that means. Uh, without like even breaking stride, I go, ma'am, and then I walk straight into the outhouse. <laughs> I give her a uh, salute, and then walk into the bathroom. After her. I, I give her a big sloppy hug, and then leave. I come back out and join the hug. <laughs> There's a sign uh, on the of the outhouse that says, "Hugs are mandatory." Uh, <laughs> gonna <laughs> miss you. So. You close the uh, you close the door of the outhouse and the toilet turns into a huge Super Mario green tube. You fall into it and let me change the map. And you find yourselves back at the headquarters inside the single toilet. And that is where we are going to close it out for the evening. Uh, let's get some last words from you gentlemen, Merkin. Guys, it was a pleasure almost getting killed today with you. Harlow? I I have to say the same. I'm glad to have met. Douglas, chin up. It was such a grand time exploring the rattle. A dangerous territory that might hold the key to God Beth's fruit. It's funny again. <laughs> <laughs> God 
<laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. We uh, actually didn't really make it to the rattle, did we? You did. That was yeah. Like the outer, the outer that was the rattle? Yeah, I thought the rattle. Oh, okay. It's a, oh, I guess we did. It's a weird. You know what? We didn't see a giant key anywhere. We'll have to go back. No, we'll have to find that key. We still have to find. Uh, anyway, uh, as a lot of you exit, uh, open the door uh, to the bathroom. You, in front of you are twenty crawling claws, and that's where we're going to end it for today. So oh God! Good job, everybody. God damn. All right. Good night.